And I do encourage you to grab a pen because I'm going to be asking you to write some stuff down, circle some things, underline some things. So get ready and let's go. All right. So coaching business challenge. So I'm just going to scroll through here and first off ask, why start an online coaching business? So first off, let's get a clear idea. What are we talking about when we're talking about a coaching business? When we say coach, often this is what comes to mind, right? A uh, sports coach. And you may recognize this is Andy Reid, coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, going to the Super Bowl as of last night. So this is definitely a successful coach, um, really winning coach, several Super Bowl wins under his belt. So I want to ask some questions here and write down your answers here. First off, do coaches teach? Do coaches teach? So write down whatever you think your answer is here, okay? And then two, are coaches the primary source of education for their clients? Okay, now I'll back up and give you my answers a little bit here. Do coaches teach? I would say absolutely they teach. But are coaches the primary source of education for their clients? I would say probably not. Consider Andy Reid here, this NFL coach, uh, quarterback, um, Patrick Mahomes. I don't think that coach Andy Reid taught Patrick Mahomes how to catch the football, how to throw the football, how to run with the football. He learned that a long time ago as a little kid. But it's Andy Reid is the coach that has the plan he's holding there, right? And he's got the mic and he's talking to the players and he's trying to help them execute the plan. So just remember that coaches do teach, but that's not their primary role all the time. And I tell you that because a lot of people think, well, coaching sounds great, but you know, um, what am I going to teach? Or I'm not a good teacher or whatever. I'm telling you, you don't actually have to do teaching all the time with coaching because a lot of people that are going to come to you are already going to have the skills. They're just going to need help executing their game plan. Okay. So think about the coach of a professional football thing. You think he's the one who taught his players to throw catch and block. I already went over that. So I don't think so. So very basic at a very basic level, the job of a coach is to bring the best out of people and to help them succeed. Okay. And I want you to think just for a second that you could be a coach. Okay. We're, we're going from this, this football coach. Now here, this is the kind of coaching we're talking about. This one-on-one -on -one typically could be group, but online coaching, just like we're doing now over a video chat and pretend this guy here, he, he's the coach. And I just want you to paint yourself into the picture here. Imagine this is you. Okay. Helping this person on the other end here. And just consider that you do have what it takes. You maybe just have not uncovered it yet. What your, your niche would be for coaching. Um, got a friend that, that is in ham radios, you know, the CBs that go global and, um, he is very knowledgeable in those great idea for a coaching business. People are always calling him trying to figure out how to get it set up. Obviously there's business coaching, there's digital marketing coaching, there's coaching on maybe how to be a new mom. There's coaching on, uh, you know, physical training, physical, personal training, yoga, the sky's the limit, you know, whatever it is that you're into, you could be a coach for that. Okay. So moving on before we go on with the, why you should start a coaching business, I'm going to say, we got to ask ourselves, does being a coach suit me? Because just because anybody can start an online coaching business today, doesn't mean that everybody should. Okay. So we're going to teach you in this, in this course here, how really anybody can do this. Anybody can set this up, but that doesn't mean that everybody should, because you want to make sure you're well suited for it. And that's what I'm going to talk about for the next couple of minutes, just to kind of help you understand what's involved in your personality type, if it might be a fit. So here we go. If you have an expertise in a particular niche, then you're certainly qualified as an online coach. That's kind of a no brainer. Um, there's no doubt that if you enjoy teaching uh, others what you know, coaching would be a great way for you also. Now, here's kind of a double-edged sword. One, we have a benefit. You can set your own schedule and work whenever uh, you want from wherever you want, anywhere in the world, as long as you have you know, a laptop and an internet connection. But on the other side of that, do you have enough self-discipline to be your own boss? Okay. And that's something you really want to ask yourself because when you have a regular J-O-B and you work for somebody else, they tell you when to show up, what to do, when you can go home, and you just have to kind of follow the rules. When you're the boss, when it's your business, you have to be self-disciplined to do the work regularly without somebody telling you that. So ask yourself, um, are you that kind of person? Do you have enough self-discipline to be your own boss? Also, you need to remember that you will always have to find new clients to make the whole thing profitable. So just realize that marketing is just as important as the coaching sessions, okay? Marketing is a part of this, okay? I wanna be really, really clear about this. Marketing is just a part of this, something you're gonna have to do regularly and consistently. You may be able to envision um, being a coach and helping people and providing those coaching services, but you also have to envision and be actively engaged 
consistently and constantly in marketing to bring new people to your business. So I want to make that real clear up front. So this is kind of a general question about people. How do you feel about people in general? Are you a people person? Do you even like people? Okay. If you don't like people in your ornery might not be for you, but if you love people and you're into it, it, it might be for you. Uh, do you love people? Do you find yourself always wanting to help people out, to lift them up and encourage them? This is really important. If you, if you, this describes you, you just have this natural, you see somebody and you just want to help them. You want to encourage people all the time. You would be a great fit to be a coach. Okay. I don't care what you know. You can find that out later. That is the secret sauce. So you know how to uh, do, you know how to exercise your patience. This is another biggie. Let's, let's circle this one here. Exercise your patience. Go ahead and circle patience because, you know, you're going to be talking to all different kinds of people and sometimes it's easy to get through people, right? Sometimes not so much. So when you get into the not so much, you got to be able to exercise your patience and try to bring the person along in a way that's, um, you know, effective, but, but still professional. And then are you a good listener and communicator? The listener part piece here is so important. If you consider yourself a good listener, if people have told you you're an excellent listener, that is a very, very good quality and very important for a coaching business. Communicator also, but listener, circle listener. If you're a good listener, that's a good sign. This may be a good fit for you. And then uh, lastly, are you prepared to provide the highest quality service to your clients? Now, that's what it's really all about, is you have to go into this thinking that you can really help people and you're going to provide just top shelf service. I mean, you're going to go above and beyond, all in for your clients. You're committed to helping them reach their goals. If you cannot say that, that's, it may not be for you, okay? Because to be sustainable and long-term, you've really, really, really got to go all in and provide the highest quality service to your clients. All right, so hopefully that gives you just a little idea personality-wise. If uh, you may be leaning one way or the other, hopefully you're leaning like, yeah, I can do this because really most people can, all right? So some of the positive things about uh, the coaching business is it really helps you grow, okay? When you decide to be an online coach, it will definitely accelerate your own professional and personal growth because these are the kind of things you're going to be helping other people with, with their, to accelerate their professional growth, their personal growth. Likewise, if you're an expert in any subject, um, there's always more to learn and nobody learns more than the teacher. I have been teaching uh, in one way or another since probably I was 15 years old. And I can say that is true. You don't, you learn most when you teach because you have to come up with it. You have to think it out. You have to lay it out in a, in a manner that's easy to understand for a presentation and then maybe field some questions and feedback. So you're going to grow substantially as a coach. Now, it's very satisfying to teach others and help them achieve their own goals. Nothing much feels better. Have you ever helped somebody out like it was in a pinch and you can tell that you really, really helped this person out? And that feeling, it's just like, mm, it feels good. I mean, that feeds the soul. So like I said, not much feels better than really helping people. So that's a huge benefit. And also you'll be dealing with all kinds of different people, most likely. Um, they'll open your mind and help you develop as a person. Because again, this is a global community online. I was on a live this morning. We had somebody on there from Ireland, Singapore, even Tampa Bay. So all over the world, but having exposure to people from all over the world helps make you a better person because it gives you a better understanding of different people and the cultures around the world. Okay, and lastly here, as far as it helping you to grow as a person, having a coaching business, to be a good online coach, you need to be disciplined and organized. If you commit to a coaching session with a client be, uh, at a specific time, you have to be on time, okay? You have to be disciplined. You have to be organized. You want to make the most of that time. Generally, you're charging a lot for these sessions, so they're going to expect a lot, and you want to provide, again, that top-level service. service. So that means being ready, being on time, and being ready with what you're going to talk about and being organized. Okay. And all these things are going to help you grow as a person also. Now I want to talk just a little bit about the money. There is good money in online coaching. I would say there's great money in online coaching, even fantastic money in online coaches. Um, online coaches, coaches charge hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for personal and group coaching. Most people never turn what they know into good hard cash, but you could, I'm encouraging you to do that. And this is exactly what online coach does. Um, they're happy to provide their knowledge to others in return for a significant sum of money. For example, experts in digital marketing niche can charge thousands an hour for their time. And they do. I know some of them. Uh, the same goes for coaches in personal development and life coaching. And the trick is this, as long as you're providing good value, okay, 
circle that good value. As long as you're providing good value, people will be happy to pay what you want. And what you want, well, that's up to you. But the sky is kind of the limit. It's not unheard of to be hundreds, um, even in the high hundreds, close to a thousand. Depends on what, what you're coaching for. Think about education for just a second. Think about the traditional education. Go to college for four years or in my case, go for six years and get your four-year degree, you know, I, um, but you go and then you let those student loans follow you around into your mid-30s. That's fun. Um, you spend all this money to get this kind of general knowledge because when you get out of college, you start at the bottom and you got to be taught everything about what you're going to do at your job. Coaching is different kind of education. Coaching takes real specific things. Say, I want to accomplish this goal. I need help accomplishing this. And a coach comes along and says, hey, I can help you with this. Let me bring you along and help you achieve that goal. So that's where we see whether, as long as you're providing good value, people will pay the money because really what they're paying for is the result. Okay, they're paying for the result. And it just pales in comparison to the price. It, it may sound expensive, you know, when you look at it by the hour, by the session, but when you compare it to the value you're getting for what you're learning and achieving that result, it's not very expensive at all. So keep that mindset, okay? Keep that mindset if you're going to be an online coach. And we'll talk a little more about um, some mindset at the end of today's session because that is the number one most important thing. Okay, so here we go again. Create your own schedule. You decide when you'll work. Obviously, you need to be around when your clients are around. If they're around the world in different time zones, you need to consider that. Um, and that may be something to really think about because um, we'll get into lifestyle a little bit here too. But if you're going to service a, um, a market that is outside of your time zone, just be aware of that you're going to need to accommodate your clients. Now, another cool thing about online coaching is it's easy to get started. You probably have everything you re need right now. All you need is a computer. Um, an internet connection, you know, and then we're going to be using things like Skype or Zoom or Facebook or Builderall's uh, webinar or video conferencing tool to connect with your clients. Um, you've probably already got email, so you can use email to communicate with them. You can use things like Google Drive is a, you know, is free, and you can use that or some other cloud service to be able to provide documents and, and uh, just different coaching materials to your clients. So my point is it's easy to get started because pretty much everybody has this. You know, anybody that's watching this right now, you've probably got a computer, you're on the internet and you've got all this stuff too. So really it's easy. It's a low barrier of entry for this kind of business. Um, but just now that being the case, since it is such a low barrier, you've got to expect like any business with a low barrier of entry, a lot of people come into the business, okay? But not a lot of people succeed because they just think, oh, this is easy to get started and do. A lot of things are easy to get started and do, but let's get started and excel and continue. That's what we're talking about. All right, let's move now from why should you start an online coaching business to how do I get started or where do I start? And like I just mentioned, I want to start with what I think is the most essential thing for a coaching business, and that is mindset. Developing a successful online coach mindset is a must, okay? Okay. People often think that they need to be some kind of a guru or, or have some special insider knowledge to become a successful coach, and this is just not the case. What you do need is the right mindset to be successful with online coaching. Circle this, please. The right mindset. You need the right plan. Circle this. And the right action to take. Circle that. So I want to talk about some common traits for successful coaches here in general, and then I'll break them down a little more in detail as we go on. First off, they are confident as a coach, you've got to be confident. Nobody wants to pay you if they don't feel confident that you're going to be able to get them result. And if you don't feel confident in yourself and your ability to help people, that's going to shine through and they're going to pick up on that. Okay. So you have to be confident. Um, they have clarity. Good online coaches have clarity because again, that's a big part of what we're trying to help people do is get clarity and focus and achieve their results. So you've got to have clarity yourself. And excellent coaches also, they have a paradigm or perspective of abundance. And this is so important. You've got to have a mindset of abundance, okay? The opposite of abundance is a lack mindset, okay? The lack mindset says, oh, there's only so many resources to go around. So we all are only going to get a couple little pieces of the pie. <laughs> no, the abundance mindset says there's plenty of pie. Eat all you want. Have two pieces. Have your dessert first, okay? you got to have this abundance mindset, especially because we're charging a lot of money for these sessions, right? 
I remember I was in the, um, I used to be in the ceramic tile and marble business. I used to lay tile. Then later I got into project management with a granite shop, um, doing much the same stuff. And I remember the sales guy there talking to me and he gave me some advice. He said, you know, you've got to be able to sit across from somebody and draw out their counter, your granite countertop or whatever, whatever, and turn the price around, put it in front of them and say, there you go. That'll be $85,000 and be okay with it and just smile and just be quiet. You know, that's the, the art of closing. He who speaks first loses. So that's the mindset you've got to think. You may think, well, $80,000 countertop, who's going to buy an $80,000 countertop? Okay. Well, maybe not you, but I trust you. Lots of people buy $80,000 countertops. And for people that are interested in this coaching, they understand and they know that it, it costs you know, substantial amount of money. So don't be afraid of that. You have to take this abundance mindset mindset into this. Okay. Also, they're always positive. These coaches always have to be upbeat and positive, high energy, high energy. Uh, basically successful online coaches have a magnetic personality. People are easily drawn to them and look forward to their coaching sessions. So take a look at Tony Robbins, for example, he has to be one of the most successful coaches of all time. So many people like him because of his magnetic personality and a big part of what makes his personality so magnetic is his energy. You guys ever seen him uh, at, been to an event or maybe seen a promo for his events? The guy is jumping up and down. He's doing all kinds of things with his body. High energy. And you know what? That is attractive. That draws people in. People want to be like that. Um, let me read you this statement here. Good coaches use their energy like a thermostat to adjust the energy level of their clients. Okay. So I didn't know if you are aware of this superpower that you have, but whenever you have contact with a person, whether in person, face to face, or like this, you know, over video chat, you have the ability to leave the person after your, your time with them a little better off than when they started in terms of their attitude. Okay, like a thermostat, you can control the attitude of the people you come in contact with, with your level of positivity, with your level of energy, okay, because we, we, uh, we meet each other often. So when you that have that high energy, people's energy comes up to meet you there. When you're positive, people will come up to that level of positivity to meet you there. So, and that's, that's what your clients are going to be looking for. And this mindset, consider this, when they get off a call with you and they click hang up, you want them to feel like, man, that was good. They just have this good feeling that they can't wait to do it again, okay? So this is the mindset. Act like a thermostat. Realize you have the superpower of a thermostat, okay? And use that power to influence people and leave them better than you found them when you interact with them. Successful online coaches never appear desperate for, biz for business, even if they are, okay? <laughs> they're always certain they can get the right result for their clients. Yeah, underline this. They're always certain they can get the right result for their clients. This, this, in a nutshell, this is what your mindset has to be. You have to be certain you can get the right result for your client. You don't have to know how up front. You just have to be certain that you can do it. So let's take a closer look at some of the mindsets you'll need to, uh, like I said, we'll go a little deeper with some of these. Confidence. People that hire you as an online coach expect you to be very confident in yourself and in your abilities. They're paying you for it after all. Um, they see you as their mentor and they want to look up to you. If you don't have the right amount of confidence, then they're going to struggle to find, you are going to struggle to find and keep uh, profitable business and clients. So we talked about that some already. You need to be confident in the way you look and in the way you speak. So don't show up to a coaching call in your bathrobe, okay? <laughs> So, and don't, you know, I'll be eating a bowl of popcorn. Again, all that stuff, confidence, okay? We're here for a uh, purpose. You need to be confident in the way you look and you speak. Uh, one way to improve your confidence, this is good, is do uh, record your sessions, okay? Even if you want to do a mock session, a fake session, or with just with a friend of yours, but record the session and then play the session back and pay particular attention to the tone of your voice and your facial expressions, okay? You're, mm, you mean, you know, if, if you got, if your brow is real hard, I've got to, I struggle with that. I've got a real heavy brow. I've always got to be kind of softening, you know, because I can look mean to people. <laughs> so but you need to pay attention to your voice, tone of voice, your facial expressions expressions, how you greet your clients, you know, if they ask you a difficult question, you can, uh, how did you respond, you know, um, observe yourself doing this. How's your body language during the session? Do you look attentive and ready to listen? Are you always striving to and be always striving to improve your coaching sessions? So this is a great idea is to record yourself from time to time. And again, this is going to be your craft, you want to hone it, you want to hone your craft and get better and better and better. So this is a great tool to do that just record watch and have a very critical eye towards what you're doing. So confidence, okay, <laughs> confidence in what you may ask, be confident, 
that you can and will help your clients get the results they're looking for. This is the confidence you need. Because sometimes people think, oh, well, that's false confidence or whatever. No, no, no. It's not false confidence. If you have a non-defeatist attitude, which you need, you can be confident that you can and will help your clients get the results they're looking for. This is the confidence you need, my friends. And remember, you don't have to know everything. You just have to know that you can help everything. Okay, I don't know everything. Nobody does. But if you have a non-defeatist attitude and a commitment to find the answers, you can find any answer you want. <laughs> I feel so blessed to be a part of Builder All, especially with um, the Mag5 team, Shelly, and even the leadership team. I feel like I'm unstoppable in digital marketing. And I don't know as much as probably the rest of the team as far as I'm probably on the caboose, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because I've got the whole team. I can find anything out. So this is the kind of uh, confidence you need to have. You don't have to know it all. You just have to know that you can find it all out. All right. So we talked a little bit about clarity and for yourself, you understand that it's more than this coaching online, more than just about money. Um, this starts with you being clear about what successful online coaching business means to you. We all have different definitions of success. So you need to be able to decide for yourself how successful, how success will look and feel for you. Think about uh, how being a successful online coach means to you in terms of, okay, so this is really important because Success. What is success? You know, success is defined by you. Nobody can define it for you. There's the, you know, a stereotypical general ideas of success. You know, he who dies with the most toys wins. We all know that's really a lie. That's why I said it's, it's not all about the money here, but you do need to consider all these things and have clarity. What does it mean to you if you're going to start a coaching business financially? What will it mean to you emotionally and spiritually? Again, you're going to be hopefully pouring yourself out, you know, to some degree to your clients, that's going to take some emotional work, uh, work life balance. How is that going to work out? And also think of this. These are the kind of things you're going to be helping your clients do to get clarity <laughs> on what they want as you help them get their results. So you want to do that first for yourself, your coaching business, get clarity on what it means for you. Okay. Also, you need to think solutions. This is the mindset we're talking about, solutions. Clients come to you as an online coach because they're looking for solutions to their problem. You need to have a belief and confidence that you can provide a solution to any problem that your clients have. You know, when you're first starting out, you may be hit with some questions that you're not expecting. So you need to prepare in advance and say, how am I going to deal with questions that stump me? Okay. <laughs> Figure that out first, practice it a little bit. So that way, when you get asked a question that you get stumped on, you're not just like, uh, uh, I, you've got a plan, you know, you, you've got a plan. So uh, let me pick up where I was here. Yes. Unfortunately, if people are paying you hundreds of dollars for your time and expertise, they're going to expect you to have all of the answers right away. If you don't know the answer to something, you need to provide a credible response such as, well, there's several ways you can approach this. But listen, above all, be honest and be authentic, okay? Because people can tell when you're lying and nobody likes liars. So don't be afraid of not knowing stuff. Be confident that you can find it out, okay? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about expectations as we go down here. Um, what you want to do here is buy some time. They're talking about, you know, if you get stumped on a question, you're just trying to, you want to come up with something that, you know, this is how I'm going to deal with that. Okay. And then um, tell them you need some time to figure it out. You'll get back with them. Maybe next time is a possibility, but it's all about setting the expectation up front because I'm going to go back here where it says, going to expect you to have all of the answers right away. Okay. Uh, this is the expectation, unfortunately. Okay. That's kind of a default expectation. And I'm going to suggest now that the default ex, uh, expectations for your clients should not matter because this is a huge thing you have to do is you have to set the expectations with your clients right up front. We're going to give you some forms and paperwork to be able to do that, some onboarding forms. Okay. Um, but it's all about setting the expectation up front. If you, if you allow this expectation to allow people to expect that you're going to have all of the answers right away, you are probably going to be setting yourself up for failure because nobody has all the answers right away. Okay. So it's about setting the expectation properly with your clients. Okay. Um, let's say you can find yourself getting into a negative thinking spiral. If you can't provide the solution that a client is looking for right away, it's essential that you do not let this overwhelm you and always believe that you can find the solution. Again, just set the expectation up front here. People know that you're, you're human and, Trust me, they would much rather you be honest and authentic, okay, than just try to make it sound like you know everything. All right, 
Let's go on to number four, adopt the right lifestyle mindset. We're still on essential mindset here for coaching. Come up with a lifestyle plan before you open your, the doors for your business, so to speak. There are limits to what you will do. So think about your lifestyle and think about you need to set some boundaries with coaching. Um, for example, seek to be their coach, not their friend. Okay. Now, this is hard for a lot of people because we most people want people to like them, right? And we want to befriend people. So that's kind of our default. But with a coaching relationship, friendship is not always the best because you just like that coach, you know, that football coach, sometimes you really have to get on your players, on your clients, because again, you're working to get the result. We're working to get the championship, to go to the Super Bowl. We're not working for your client to say, oh, thanks for not making me do whatever hard. No, we want to push that client so they get the result. That is what they hired you for, okay? So have the right mindset. Understand you're not going to be friends probably if you're going to be very effective. Um, you're going to be their coach. And just think about the other boundaries that you'll have to consider. You think about the return on investment, your ROI, what you want from your online coaching business. I also think of this as your why, like, why are you doing this? Again, because it's not all about the money, um, not just financial, but think about the time freedom. Think about the flexibility, time freedom. Let me just talk about that for a second. Um, you know, people charge, it's not unheard of to charge, say, $200 for a coaching session, $200 for an hour coaching session. Now, and, and trust me, this $200 is worth it because the results, the, the value, the things you're, you're learning, the results you're getting is all tied up in that. Now, I have had jobs in my lifetime where I don't make $200 in a day working eight, 10 hours all day. And here you can make $200 uh, in this situation for a one hour session. Now, obviously there's more that goes into it. You know, you've got to do the marketing and you'll have website and preparation and everything else. But it pays really good. Okay, it can really provide you a nice living. And compared to you know that that two hundred dollar session, uh, you could do you do one of those a day could replace your your income. You know if you've got a regular job, which could provide you with a lot of freedom. And that freedom may be the ability to stay home um, with your family. Um, a lot of us are stuck home now, you know, but hopefully that won't be forever. But give you the ability maybe to um, you know while your kids are home, maybe you want to homeschool your kids. Uh, I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. It's flexibility. So just think about that freedom, time, freedom, the flexibility. Think about the satisfaction. When you think about why am I going to do this coaching? Well, think about the satisfaction again, when you help somebody, how good that feels. And think about this on the negative. Okay. If you're a prisoner to your online coaching business, then it's not going to last very long. Okay. Meaning you want to think about this lifestyle you want. Okay. If you're going to set a bar so high, so demanding for yourself that it seems like you do not have any of this freedom or flexibility or satisfaction, uh, and you're just a prisoner to your business, that could be true of any business, then it's not going to work out for you. That's why we suggest to adopt and think about the lifestyle up front before you start. So then you can, once you've you know thought about your lifestyle plan, you can kind of reverse engineer how you'll operate your online coaching business. Choose what you'll deliver to your clients and when so that, so, so that it supports your lifestyle. Remember, as an online coach, you will be achieving success by helping others achieve theirs. I love that. <laughs> you will be achieving success by helping others achieve theirs, achieve their success. And boy, that just... If that sounds appealing to you, helping other people achieve success while achieving yours, this probably is a good fit for you. Okay, moving right along here, we're, we're getting close here. We're going to move on to the next one, which is goal-oriented. You know, you, you knew you are going to hear about goals with coaching, right? You need to set yourself challenging goals. If you want to be a successful online coach, standing still is not an option. It may be easy for you to share your knowledge with the world, but always be thinking about moving up to the next level. See, if we're going to be helping people crush their goals, we've got to be a goal-crushing person ourselves. okay? Don't stay in your comfort zone or you'll never realize your potential. You need to embrace change and the different changes. Think big and set big goals. If you get too comfortable when you become complacent and your clients will notice this. Again, we want to lead by example. Think about it. A big part of what you're going to be doing is helping other people do as an online coach is helping people set and then crush their goals. So we need to lead by example. So this is pretty obvious, I think. Be a collaborator is the next one. While it's possible to become successful a successful online coach um, on your own, it's like you're more likely to achieve a lot more by collaborating with others. Having the support of a good network will have a significant impact on your ability to attract new clients and increase your income. So there's a lot of different ways you could collaborate with others. You could find people who have authority blogs in your niche and work something out with them. 
here. You could um, offer them a commission to advertise your coaching services. You could write guest posts for their blog with a backlink to your site. You can also find influencers on social media that will promote your business um, with find people with large followings that they can consistently uh, connect with people that you could never find on your own. So have a collaboration mindset to really grow your online coaching business. And that's easy enough to do in Builder All. We've got great communities, a lot of groups you can be involved in because working online can be a lonely game, right? <laughs> um, but you don't have to do it alone, especially with Builder All. That is one of our, um, one of our, you know, one of the greatest things about Builder All is the community and plenty of opportunity for collaboration. Okay, coming to the end here now of what I want to share with you. And number seven, that is have a servant's heart. Okay, this is all about mindset. Have a servant's heart. Go into your business thinking, I am here to serve people. It's not about what I want. I'm not here to make a pile of money. I'm not here to have to try to quit my job. I am here to serve these people. And I promise you, if you pour yourself into that mission, you will find success. So be a great listener. Okay, we got two ears one mouth. Okay. Listen twice as much as you speak. Be obsessed with getting them results. Be obsessed with getting your clients their results. Their goals kind of become your goals in that you're so passionate about them. You're pushing and helping them get them, uh, achieve those goals. Again, I mentioned this before. You want to be authentic and you want to be yourself. People can tell if you're being phony. Nobody likes phony baloney um, and believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, probably nobody else will. And that comes through. You know, there's something about that that people can tell, even over a video chat, you know, if you believe in yourself or not. So it's super important. Have a servant's heart. Be a good listener. Pour yourself into your clients. Be obsessed with getting them results. Be authentic. Be yourself. And you can have success as an online coach. All right. I'm going to stop sharing here. So yesterday, Keck gave you an excellent introduction to coaching, and I hope it opened your mind to what coaching is and how you can use the various skills and knowledge that you already possess to literally change the lives of, your, of the people you are coaching. So today, I'm going to walk you through those essential steps that you must take to set up your online coaching business for success. First of all, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Have you ever heard that before? It's likely that you have heard it many times, and the reason is because it's true. So if you jump into your online coaching business, it's not very likely to succeed. It's important to have the right strategy. You need a plan, and it needs to be a good plan. First of all, what do you really want? There is so, there's such... I'm sorry, there is no such thing as a perfect online coach. You can spend months on Google trying to find the perfect way to launch your new online coaching business, and you will likely not find the right answer. This training will certainly help you, but you need to ask yourself some important questions before you get going. There are no shortage of online training courses that will cost you a lot of money. However, the content in these courses is likely to be high quality, um, but you can never guarantee that you will it'll be the right fit for you. As a starting point, ask yourself, what income do I want to earn each month? How many hours do I want to work on my online coaching business? What kind of contribution do I want to make to the world? So grab your workbook that came with this training. And as Shelly told you, um, it's either in the files tab or the homepage of your e-learning. Um, and write down the full answers to these questions because you're going to be turning them into goals. The first is your income goal. The second is your lifestyle goal. And the last one is your contribution goal. When you achieve all of these goals, you'll have an online coaching business that rewards you, provides you with the lifestyle you want and fulfills you. To succeed as an online coach, you need to serve your clients in a way that the market is not effectively doing so at the moment. You need to know who your target market is and what their pain points are and the problems that they have. It's important for you to align with their desires so that they are delighted to work with you. When you're able to provide effective solutions to people, you will become irresistible to them. They will happily pay you whatever you're asking. Providing the answer to their problems is what you need to do. So you need to know as much about your market as possible. There are a number of ways that you can do this. You can look for conversations online to discover the problems that your target market are having. Your aim is to know more about your target market than they know themselves. Then just tell them that you have the answers they're looking for. Create a plan around this. 
Find out who your ideal clients are and find ways to identify the issues that they have. Later this week, you're going to learn some great ways to find potential clients for your online coaching business. So do not miss any of that training. Until you're able to build a solid reputation as an online coach, you need to stand out from the crowd. This is particularly important if you're going into a competitive market. Now, there's nothing wrong with being in a competitive market, though. They actually tend to grow more than other markets do. The best way to stand out from the crowd as an online coach is to deliver solutions that really make a difference to your clients. Make a commitment to develop an irresistible offer to them that solves one of their top pain points. Use your creative mind here and offer the best ways to fix their problems. This could be a series of one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, group coaching sessions for their employees, a series of training videos for company personnel, and so on. Be committed to providing value to all of your coaching clients. When you have the solutions to their problems, you are in a strong position and you can charge accordingly. Some people will try to knock you down on your price. I recommend that you avoid these people, especially if they're bargain hunters. Never forget that the solutions that you provide can make a significant difference in your clients' lives. If your recommendations will save a business a lot of money, then never be afraid to charge a high price for your expertise. Being an online coach can be a pretty lonely business. One of the best things that I recommend you do is to find a good mentor or mentors. There will be times when you're stuck on a problem for a client. With a good mentor in place, it can be a lot easier to come up with the right solution. Did you actually know that most good mentors have their own mentors too? Well, they do. And it's because nobody knows everything. No matter how much of an expert you are in your niche, there will always be something that you don't know or you're unsure of. Make sure that the people around you provide their support to you as well. The support of your spouse and your family is critical. It will also help you immensely if, you, if your close friends are supportive as well. And if you have none of these in BuilderAll, we have an enormous community of entrepreneurs who are more than happy to work with you through a problem or give feedback. Just post in the groups and others will be happy to assist you. Think of ways that you can scale up your online coaching business. Your focus here should be on providing you with more time and money. Why not create online training courses where you will share your knowledge with others for a premium. Another thing that you can do is create an online community for your target market. Instead of them paying you for one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can charge them a monthly membership fee to gain access to the community and its valuable resources. The way that you deliver your online coaching to your clients depends on your strategy. Some online coaches deliver to a number of people at the same time, while others only offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. There are other online coaches that do both. Regardless of the approach, there are common elements that you need to get right. It's essential that you're confident with your coaching sessions. If you're disorganized and just winging it, then unless you're a master coach with loads of experience, your delivery will not be perceived as confident to your clients. Always bear in mind that your coaching clients are looking to provide answers to their, looking to you to provide answers to their questions. Your main objective must be as a solution provider that inspires your clients. When people are paying you top dollar for your advice, they expect you to be on the ball and give them what they want. With new clients, ask them questions using email or through an online form to get a good understanding of what their problems and pain points are. Give yourself time to prepare for the coaching call so that you can research if necessary or speak with your mentors to come up with the best response. There will be times when a client asks you a question that you can't answer. When this happens, you need to respond positively and tell them that you need to look into the issue further to provide them with the best answer. You have to manage the expectations here. Your clients probably think that you have all of the answers already. Prepare for your first coaching session around what the client has told you about their problems. Using screen visuals is a good idea and will be well received, so spend time getting these ready before your call. When you prepare everything beforehand, it will give you the confidence to deliver the best poss possible coaching session. Your coaching clients are paying you for your advice and guidance, so you need to have the information prepared for them. It's also a good idea to create materials and coaching calls that provide a direct response to questions raised. Versatility is very important, and it's not just about providing static materials. When you're delivering your coaching sessions, focus on planting a seed. What are you doing here providing ideas 
what you are doing here is providing ideas at the seed level that will take root with your clients and then start growing. Online coaching is a two-way street. It's on you to provide the solutions, but you want the client to play their part as well. They need to take action against what you've discussed, so introduce accountability into your sessions. Tell your clients in the very beginning that they will need to be responsible for the agreed upon actions in your calls. There are a number of good tools out there that will help you to provide this accountability. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. Whatever tools you decide to use, they need to be visible by both you and the client. There are tools that automate this accountability follow-up process. Use these to your advantage. It's essential that you keep track of the actions that you have agreed with your clients. This will include actions for you as well as actions for them. What you want is a number of coaching sessions with a client for maximum profitability. It's pretty unlikely that you're going to solve all of their problems in one coaching session anyway, but when you have an accountability trail, it will always prompt another session. So be flexible over session times and platforms. If you, if you live on the other side of the world to your client, then you need to be flexible over times for coaching sessions. It's not idea to, ideal to perform coaching sessions in the middle of the night. But if that's the only time that your client has available, then you need to make the sacrifice here. I recommend that you stay, that you have as many conferencing tools as possible. A lot of people will be happy to use Skype, Zoom, or you could even use the Builder All webinar tool. There are also apps available for you to record your coaching sessions, which you must do. Always tell your clients up front that you will be recording the calls. Explain that you will play the recording back afterwards to pick up on the agreed upon actions, et cetera. Tell them that you do not want to write notes as this will take attention away from listening to what they have to say. They really will appreciate this. So you can also offer a copy of the recorded session, session, coaching session to your clients if they want it as well. Another good reason for recording your coaching sessions is that you can learn from your mistakes. Take the time to go through all of your early coaching sessions and think about ways that you can improve them. So you wanna create a strong connection with your clients. One of the best ways to do this is to use video sessions so that they can see your face and you can see theirs. It's easier to pick up on visual clues during a coaching session than it is in audible ones. For example, if you're discussing a high level concept, you will easily be able to detect if your client is confused or is switching off while you're trying to explain something complex. You can right away check with them to confirm that they're actually getting it. It's never good for your client to leave a coaching session confused. For large, group coaching sessions, you will need something more robust than Skype or the other messenger applications. You need to invest in a webinar tool with an option to record. None of your coaching clients are going to expect you to be available 24 hours a day, but they will expect you to respond promptly to any emails or other forms of communication that they initiate with you. Some online coaches choose specific times of day when they respond to emails from clients. While I'm all for time management, I do not agree with this being a good idea to keep coaching clients waiting too long for a reply from you. I recommend that you respond to emails or text messages or any other form of communication from your clients as soon as possible. They will certainly appreciate that and will feel that you really care about them. As an online coach, your aim must always be to delight your clients. They're going to know people that you don't. And if they are delighted with the services that you provide, they will be happy to tell others about it. I mentioned that online coaching was a two-way street earlier and that the client has a responsibility to take action as well as you. If they are late delivering these actions, then never try to ridicule them or get angry with them. You need to show empathy and explain to them that it's in their best interest to follow through with the agreed actions. If a client wants to have a call with you late at night because they're struggling with something as a result of your coaching sessions, then unless it's completely inconvenient for you, I recommend that you have the call. Listen to what they have to say and ask questions. If they need a bit more time to complete an action, then tell them that's fine. This is not school and you are not the teacher who's going to place them in detention for not doing their homework. So what is your coaching style? 
There are different coaching services that you can provide to your clients, which is a great, which is great because you can use all of them to scale your online coaching business. Don't get fixated on just one of these services. Open your mind to alternative coaching methods that will make you more money and free up more of your time. A lot of people think that one-on-one -on -one live coaching when there's Think about one-on-one -on -one live coaching when you're first starting out. This is fine, and it's definitely something that you can do. With this type of online coaching, you can charge the highest prices. Clients will appreciate the personal attention that you provide them and will, at, will pay what you ask. It might not be that easy for you to get live coaching clients at first. You probably need to build up your reputation, do this by offering other services like courses. Once you are established as an expert in your niche, you can charge hundreds or even thousands of dollars for your one-on-one -on -one coaching services. The disadvantage of the one-on-one -on -one live coaching is that you're selling your time. You will need to prepare properly for your coaching sessions and this will take time too. But in the end, you can make a serious amount of money for a small time investment. So one to many live coaching. Here you will coach a small number of students in the same coaching sessions. Some niches are more suitable to this approach than others. You need to manage these sessions properly to avoid things like people talking at once. Keep the numbers low so that they will receive the maximum attention from you and it will be easier for you to control each coaching session. Remember that you are selling your time here again and you will need to follow up more with more than just one person. So make sure that you charge the right price for each client in the session. Provide high quality training courses. A lot of successful online coaches start with this. They identify problems in, that people are experiencing in the niche, and then they create training courses that solve these problems. This is also a great way to establish yourself as an authority in your niche and introduce your coaching services. Once you're established, you can charge hundreds or thousands for your training, this or coaching. This is a great way to generate passive income from your own knowledge. So passive income should definitely be in your plan for your online coaching business. There's nothing better than making money when you're sleeping or on vacation. Reoccurring passive income is the very best and you can achieve this through a successful membership website. When you create your membership site, be sure to add new content on a regular basis. A good idea for this is a members only webinar that you run on a weekly basis. So what are you going to offer your clients? In other words, what is baked into your coaching package? I am literally, this, this part excites me so much that I need to get a drink of water. Because I am literally going to show you how to set up your coaching business so that all you need to do is show up for the appointments. Now is when the magic happens. This is my absolute favorite part. So the first and most important thing you need to deliver and promote your coaching business is a website. Your website is going to be the place you send all of your traffic to. It's also going to be the place where people can learn more about your services and contact you. Your website is the home of your business online. What it looks like and how it functions can give a good or bad impression to potential clients. So we want to make sure that we are giving our clients everything they want to find when they're choosing a coach. So creating your coaching website starts with choosing an appropriate domain. This is your unique address on the internet. If your own name is unique, then you can use this as your domain name. But if your name is John Smith or Mary Jones, this won't be as easy because those are probably already taken. You can also go for johnsmithcoaching.com or you could go niche specific with something like the digitalmarketingcoach.com. However, you will really have no idea what your choices are until you do a little research. A great resource for this is namemesh.com. In this example, I chose bridgetbartlettcoaching.com. You can see that it is available, but if it wasn't, I have many choices and variations that I could consider. As a general rule, I would encourage you to go for a .com domain if possible. They are the most popular by far and recognized by Google and all the other search engines. If you can't get a .com, then look for a .net or a .org. You can also check out country-specific domain extensions such as .ca for Canada, .com.au for Australia, and so on. Also, avoid domain names with 
with a hyphen or a dot, like coaching hyphen Bridget.bartlett.com. That would be incredibly hard to remember and leave lots of room for error when even trying to tell people to visit your website. Just do your best to make your domain name short and easy to remember. With some trial and error, you should be able to come up with a good list of options. Make a list of 10 domain ideas and sleep on it. In the morning, you can go to a domain registrar such as GoDaddy.com, Namecheap.com, or you can even purchase it directly from Builderall and save yourself a few steps. The next thing you need for your website is a logo. It's a very important part of establishing your brand. You wanna create a logo that people will remember and recognize immediately when they see it. However, if you don't have a logo, don't let this stop you from taking action. You can easily create a logo for yourself for free by using websites like canva.com or cooltext.com. If you would like to hire someone to create a logo for you, you can do so for as little as $5 on freelancer networks like fiverr.com and upwork.com. So with the domain name and the logo chosen, you are ready to start building your website. So if you're a builder or member, you don't need to worry about purchasing or chasing down any other tools. We have everything you're going to need to set your business on autopilot. The first tool we need is a website builder. So you're going to need several pages for your website. So to make this cl as clear as possible, I decided to demonstrate this using the Builder All Funnel Builder. You may be asking, why would you need a funnel builder for a website? Well, it's because they're the same thing. A great website will lead your client down a path that you plan out for them. Let me explain. Every website needs to have an opt-in page to capture emails to start building a list of people interested in your services. Typically, you will need to expose someone to your business or brand seven to 10 times before they're ready to take action. Emails are an excellent way to do that. You will also need a home page and an about page to give some insight on who you are and your expertise. You will need a services page as well to explain what services you offer and a contact page so they can reach you with questions. Once you have these pages created, you need to create a privacy policy and terms of conditions page, which is required by law. Lastly, if you're planning to charge for your coaching services, you need to have a membership area where your clients can access paid content like webinars and courses. The beauty of using this tool is that I can plan out my website blueprint, create my email list, and even choose my theme, and then simply click a button to create it. So Builderall really makes this simple. However, you can also go to the Builderall website templates and choose the coaching website template. It's even available on the free plans. There are many to choose from, but I've highlighted in yellow the coach website and also the coach funnel pages in case you want to check this out as well. As you can see, the design of the template is beautiful. It also includes all the essential elements we discussed earlier. It is ready for you to add your logo and start customizing it to suit your brand. You will notice on this website template, right under the main header, the services are listed right away. This is incredibly important because you want them to know immediately that you provide the services they're looking for, so they will be compelled to move further through the customer journey. Another important element to include on your website are any testimonials or reviews that you may have. This helps establish credibility and trust. If you have video testimonials, that's even more powerful. Now, let's say Miss Susie Client came to this website and saw that we provided the services she needed and we have many great reviews from previous clients. So she's compelled to go ahead and make a purchase. You want to make this process as seamless as possible and you wanna make your terms very clear. Miss Susie Client is happy with the terms and she clicks the buy now button. Now, I know these prices are different here, but this is just an example image, so stay with me and Miss Susie Client as we walk through this customer journey. Miss Susie Client comes to the checkout page, which can be easily built in the Builderall Super Checkout system, and then you just attach the item to the Buy Now button. Since Builderall tools all integrate with one another, this process is so much simpler than some other systems. Now, after Miss Susie Client purchases her coaching session or package, as we discussed earlier, we need to get some information to prepare for our coaching session with her beforehand. We want to have the opportunity to research and come to the coaching session well prepared. But again, we want to automate as much of this process as possible. So what we can do is create a contact form on our website to get the information we need to prepare. 
This form here was actually taken from Barbie Figueroa's website. She's one of the top affiliates with Builderall and an amazing coach. So she was a great example to use for this purpose. Once our new client, Miss Susie, fills out the contact form, we will receive an email with all of the information that she submitted. However, Miss Susie's journey does not end there. After she submits the information on the contact form, she will be routed to our Builderall booking calendar where she can pick the time that works best for her out of our available time slots. After she makes her choice, we will be notified with reminders of her upcoming coaching session. In addition, her appointment was automatically added to our Google calendar with a Zoom meeting and a Zoom meeting was created where we will both receive the link when it's time for our meeting. To ensure Susie doesn't miss our meeting, we're also going to use the Builderall SMS feature to remind her with text messages. Now, it may be a week or more between the time Miss Susie client books her coaching session with us and we actually have our meeting. We wanna build excitement and prepare her expectations for the meeting. So we're going to use the Builderall email autoresponder to automatically send her a series of onboarding emails to help her navigate all the resources we have available for her. This will be triggered automatically when she books her appointment. So we still have not had to be manually involved at this process. Do you see why I get so excited about this? I love this. So now when it's time for the meeting, we can use any video conferencing tool we want. You can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting via Zoom or the Builderall webinar tool. However, if you wanna have coaching sessions with a large number of people, you can create a broadcast page and stream live just like we're doing now. If you want to restrict access to this page in the Builderall website builder, you can create the membership area in a matter of minutes and then just choose to release it manually or upon payment automatically. Now, after the coaching session, you wanna provide a way for your client to be accountable for certain tasks and create a benchmark for the next session. So giving them access to an e-learning course where you can track their progress with statistics and quizzes will save you time and also ensure a quality experience for your client. You can provide so much more value and flexibility to them in a well put together course than you can during a one hour coaching session. By the way, this beautiful e-learning was created with Builderall's e-learning tool, and it's available to you for free, as well as the last challenge where we showed you how to build an email list. So since you all are watching live, you can go to the top of the broadcast page and access them both in the menu. So now that you have a system in place for your client's coaching journey with you, you're going to want to build your brand and reputation so you can actually start getting clients. The biggest downfall to being new is that most people are not trailblazers. They are not usually comfortable being the first to check something out. So one thing you can do is add social proof to your webinars and websites. This tool is available on Builderall as well, and you can set it up to have a little image pop up when someone becomes a member or completes a number of other actions. It also draws your eye to when it pops up and frankly, it just looks cool and makes your website stand out. So another step to building your brand and reputation is to create and share content on social media. However, this also means that you're going to be receiving a lot of messages on social media and traffic to your website. You definitely do not want to risk prospects losing interest, so you need to be able to respond immediately to any questions they have. Again, we're trying to automate as many processes as possible without increasing, while increasing the value we provide our clients. So again, Builderall solves this problem with chatbots. Having a chatbot is like having a salesperson who works for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and never needs vacations or sick days. Plus, the beautiful part is that your chatbot does not require a salary. This chatbot was created with the Builderall chatbot tool, and you can see this really adds a professional edge to your brand, but also serves a valuable purpose. You can also use the same chatbot on your website and Facebook Messenger. You can see how the chatbot leads them right where you need them to go without you ever responding. Instead of going back and forth with emails, this is like an actual conversation that flows where the client, where the client needs it to go based on their answer to the questions you tell it to ask. This approach is so much more personable. When done right, you can have a chatbot run your whole sales follow-up and onboarding processes. So while chatbots are an absolute game changer for your business automation and will most definitely save you hours upon hours of time messaging with people, 
it can definitely be a challenge to create. The tools are simple to use and you could create your own basic chatbot yourself with no problem. But to create an effective chatbot, it will take a lot of time, practice, and testing. It can be a challenge to find the right balance of sales and value. There's a reason hiring a professional to do this for you can cost thousands of dollars, and it's worth every single penny in time saved and sales made. But again, Builder will solve this problem. If you are a member of the Funnel Club, you already have the Life Coach and Diet Coach chatbots that I have showed you here in our back office. You don't need to do anything else. If you are not a Funnel Club member yet and want to join, now is definitely the time. Now, you should be something seeing something on this screen that looks a bit like a butterfly, lots of colored lines. And uh, the reason I want to wanted to show you this image is this is a, a representation of all the pages we build in my product launch course for um, a photographer studio. And it's what I call that authority building website and strategy for launching a business. So you can see that we've got lots and lots of different pages here. We've got a main website. I'm going to show you here this is your main website and we have some main pages that tell about the website over here and it's connected to our social media strategy it's connected to our blog and this is the area of our website our spider web of pages that is going to build that like know and trust factor that's where you're going to create your authority and of course we have some legal pages and things like that over here is our pages that we're going to monetize with. And up here is some lead generation. Now that may look really, really intimidating if you've never built a page, but I don't want you to worry one little bit about it because we're not gonna, you can only build one page at a time. So let's take a look here because we're gonna get started building your coaching website. Now, one of the things that I think is, is really interesting is building a website is kind of like putting together a puzzle. And I'm sure all of you have put together puzzles as children or adults. I love putting together puzzles. Have you ever gotten a, a puzzle where maybe you've had it for a while or your kids have got lots of puzzles and you pull it out of the closet and you know you dump it out on the table and you're putting it together but you have no idea until you get to the end that it's missing several pieces. If you've never had that happen, it can really be quite deflating, but it's kind of like that at times when you're building websites, you're trying to put all these little puzzle pieces together to build your business. But sooner or later, you, you, you start pulling this piece in. You don't even know whether it's a corner or an inside piece. And then when you finally get all the pieces out there, it's still missing some pieces. Builderall solves that for you. That's what I love about the Builderall system because we've got all the pieces in one place. And we're going to talk about some of the ways that we're going to build this puzzle. We're going to find a place to start we're not going to worry about all the other pieces. We're going to start with one piece. But let's take a look at some of the ways Builderall solves those problems when you're starting. Let's just use one of our great new features here and take a look. Right now, if you're brand new and trying to launch your um, coaching business with all of this awesome information we're getting this week, you're going to want to build your critical pages first. Now, there are some of you out there that may have a, a web page that is conducive in your field. Maybe you're already doing um, counseling, teaching, coaching in your brand. But there, if, you're, if you've never done this before, maybe you've got to create your authority. So we've got several different ways that you can go ahead and make those critical pages first and get started right away. The first way I'd like to tell you about is the full website templates. Now, Bridget mentioned it yesterday in her training, this, this website, and Builderall makes it so easy. I'm going to uh, show you that website. Right here it is. This is one of the website templates 
that you can pull in automatically with the uh, Cheetah Builder and it'll download just like this right into your account. And it's called an Anchor website, web page. And it's a, lo it's a longer page and you can see it, it has a nice header up here where you would replace your logo, all of this information. Then you have um, a nice uh, top fold banner moving down an area that tells all about what you love to do with some great little animation features. Um, here we have an offer for some free consulting. So that could kind of like lead to a lead magnet. That's where you're going to bring in leads on this page. Then we have a little bit more here where you can tell them about who you are, kind of like an other page or something like that. Uh, here's a panel where you have a chance to really build your authority and provide some real world statistics and information. The nice thing about Builderall as well is let's say you, you're just starting your, your coaching business and you really don't have all these clients yet, you can easily go right into the builder and hide or delete that panel entirely. You don't have to use it but it's a, still a great looking page with, and if you have the statistics, you wanna provide those. If you have the information, you wanna build that credibility and, up so you, and position yourself as the expert in solving the problems that your visitors are looking for when they're coming to your pages. And then below that, we have a pricing panel where you can again, you know, add different plans. You can add multiple boxes. All of this is customizable. And here's a place for testimonials. And below that, a subscription to a newsletter, another chance for you to get um, that valuable email address, uh, part of your lead generation strategy, and then a footer. So this is all on one page. And it's an anchor page. That means that it, when you build this page, you download it into your account and customize it. Then once it's customized and synchronized with Mailing Boss, I'm going to show you about that here in a little bit. These, this menu up here, will it, it doesn't take you to a different page. It just takes you to a different area on the page. Like here's the about. It scrolls down and takes you right to the about page. So that's what an anchor page is. That's a really good choice if you don't have any uh, page at all and you're just starting out. How awesome is that? That Builderall gives us this beautifully professionally designed business template. And then all you need to do is go in and replace the, the copy and configure it to your business. You know, you really wouldn't even have to change the images. Uh, if you want to change the images and the colors, you can do that as well. So I'm going to take a little sip because it's dry here in Virginia. Oh, yes. Now I want to go back to our, uh, our critical pages first, because I also want to show you that we have other options for solving this problem no matter what level you're on here in Builderall. And in so many ways. So there's your full page anchor web page option, which is very easy to do. And here I wanna to talk to you about the panel templates. And then we're also going to talk about this lead magnet template. This is the one I'm going to actually show you how easy it is to customize. For now, let's go in and take a look at these, where you can find these panel templates and other places you can find ideas and templates to pull in and create your website. So I'm going to go over here to, let's see, um, of course, the way you get in to, let's see, are you see, I'm, I'm hoping you can see, yeah, you should be seeing that fine. Um, to get in to Cheetah, you're just going to enter here on the Cheetah Builder. And I've already pulled it up. So here I am with all of my websites in this account. And if you're brand new, you won't have all of these pages, 
but that's okay. It won't take you long to fill them up because it's awfully fun to build. <laughs> it really is. So we're going to come right up here and go to create new site. Now, you're going to see the screen. Don't worry about this smart templates right now. They are smart templates. Believe me, you're going to love it. But we're not going to talk about those today. We're just going to talk about these simple templates. Let's choose here. And when the builder opens, you're going to have the option to look at all of these wonderful, beautiful, professionally designed templates that you can pull right into your account right away. Now, the one thing that I'm going to come down here to the, like the, let's see, niche funnels. That's where I'm going to come to niche funnels and I'm going to pull up and show you where I got the template we're going to do today. And it's a coach funnel. It's a financial coach funnel. So let's just take a look at it right now so you can see what kind of web page this is. I'm not sure whether I have, no, that's not one. Okay, let's go back and I'll just pull it up. There it is. This is that funnel. We're gonna come back and edit it a little bit here in a little bit, but you can see it's just very, very simple. Now, what's the difference between that anchor page and this page? This is just an, a, a funnel that gets that email lead magnet, you're looking for the lead into the system. So we're going to play around with that because you're going to need to start to build a, and use a lead magnet anyway. And it'll be really easy for me to show you how to edit this text, although you don't need to with this. Um, you really don't need to. It's all beautifully designed. So that's another place, another area where you can find great funnels for coaching. One of my favorite areas is to come down here and take a look at these coach funnel pages. Now, what are these? Let's take a look at some of these. Look at how many coaching funnel templates we have here. There's a bunch of them. And keep in mind, you can brand it however you like. But what I love about this system is that, okay, let's say we're just starting out. I just want to build a bridge page. I can come in here, I can preview it. And here's a bridge page already set up, very simple. All I have to do is come in and customize it with my brand colors, pull in my video, put in my copy, my testimonials, configure this button and it's done. Now, one of the things that I love, oh, that's not the page, one of the things I wanted to, reasons I really wanted to point this resource out to you. In fact, let me go ahead and stop sharing. I kind of want to see it. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, mouse. There we go. <laughs> One of the reasons that I really wanted to share that area with you, if you recall, when you're looking at that butterfly and all of those pages that you would really like to build and you want to move towards getting built, it, it, it's so intimidating and it looks like, oh my goodness, I, I just don't even know how to begin that. That is going to be a great resource for you. When you are ready to add that membership page, when you are ready to add that um, webinar indoctrination page. You'll know right where to get it and you can pull it in. And the techniques that I'm going to show you here translate across all of the Cheetah Builder. Editing and customizing your text and your images and your backgrounds are the same across all of these templates. So we're just going to use one of the really easy ones today. And we're gonna do a little bit of um, customization I just want to show you how it's done. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out is we're going to go in and we're going to download uh, the, the uh, web pages. And we're going to go through setting up the settings. You're going to want to name your pages and not get too... Con I've done this before when we first started, and I want to give you a warning. If you go back in there and those templates and you see those and you want to... I'm going to download that into my account and I'm going to download that into my account. And then all of a sudden you have 
five new websites and they're all named the same things, my cheetah website. <laughs> so we're going to take the time. I want to take the time and show you how to get to the website settings, fill those in today and the page settings. But as far as editing the text and the images, it works the same across all of these templates. So never be intimidated by that big old uh, box of puzzle pieces. Just pick them up one piece at a time and put them into place. Start here with these critical pages, which are your at least a, a, a bridge page, anchor page, some kind of place for you to start creating that credibility and authority. Your lead generation page, and then some way to monetize. You know, you're definitely going to want to put that into place. And that's going to come a little later in the week. So I'm going to share my screen one more time, hopefully. Let me move this over here, though. And, oops. And we'll come back over here. And let's go ahead and back up here to this. Um, now you see, oh, down here under coach, I should have told you that before. Uh, if you come, come to your templates, if you go to coach, that's where you can find that template that Bridget showed you and I showed you today. That's that one page anchor page. Now I'm gonna, uh, in fact, I'll just go ahead and show you how easy it is to download any of these. And then we're gonna talk about how to make sure it's named right and, and find them and do the settings. So if you decide you're going to choose that, we're going to select it. And you'll get this card confirming that you do want to um, download it. We're gonna save it. And you can see it comes open and it, it, uh, brings the screen open and this is your, uh, what you just downloaded and it's named my cheetah website. So if I go back and if I download multiple templates, they're all going to be named my cheetah website. So let's go ahead and begin and start to do the website settings for this website. And I, I want to make sure that you understand we're talking about the website settings here, which means these settings are going to affect all the pages in the entire website. And that's really important because we're also going to talk about page settings. So let's go over here and you'll find all of these instructions in the workbook and it'll be a nice guide to make sure you go through each time when you're building your web pages. So if you come over here to the left-hand side on site settings, we'll open it up. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is title it. Now, let's see, I'm going to just put the, make this, uh, since I have another website, we'll call this Anchor Page Coach. Why not? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> And you're going to want to put that title in, and I'm going to just copy and paste and make it easy. But whatever the title of your business is, that's what you're going to put in there. Um, here's the title separator. That is just the, the symbol. As you can see, we have the tilde, a hyphen, and a, let's see, that would be a, a line, up and down line, uh, that you're going to use in between on, the, on your browser settings when the uh, browser tabs are separating your website name from your page name. That's what that is. Now down here, this is going to be, it'll be your domain name or your, if this is your homepage, it will end up being your domain, but we don't have a domain right now. We're just going to paste that right in there and you set your language. I'm going to go through this very quickly because it's really basic. Down here is where you just make a complete description of this website. And that is important. You're going to want to pay attention to that. Spend some time crafting, using your keywords, your main keywords, and craft this uh, description because this is what shows up in the search engines as the paragraph or a few sentences about what your site is all about. So it's really important. Of course, here's where you 
uh, enable or disable your Builder All affiliate button. I always choose to have my affiliate button on and um, the language if you need to change that. Now, I encourage you to enable your CRM and begin using it right away. I mean, this CRM really, the Builder All CRM is really going to give you, even if you don't have much uh, traffic or uh, pages built right now, start using it now because you're going to have a great way to track your visitors through that journey, through the website and through their buying journey. So it's, I really highly recommend it. So just go ahead and enable it. And this is your uh, favicon, which is just that little image that appears right up here on your browser tabs, like that little builder all logo. And you put that there, you choose it and it opens up your digital file repository. And you can select a file, upload it, and then save it. We won't do that now, we'll come back to it. So those are your general settings on the website level. So let's save it. It's always important. Do not, oh, see, I didn't get my hyphens in there. Remember this um, URL has to be exact. And if you get that uh, alert, let's see, what did I name it? Anchor page coach because spaces aren't allowed in URLs. There's always a hyphen if you think that uh, spaces aren't allowed. So now I'm gonna save it and that should save just fine. Yes, we get the success message and boom. Now we have a name change on our site, you can see. Here's our anchor page coach. And if you go back and look at all of those websites, um, you'll see that I do have some <laughs> templates I still haven't changed the name on. So I'm trying to uh, <coughs> alert you to try to get into the habit of doing that right away. That way you don't have to go hunting and finding the website that you need to find. So here's our anchor page coach website, and we've done our site settings. In your workbook, you're also going to find the step-by-step uh, -step um, screenshots and directions for where, how to set your script settings. These are where, this is where you're going to, your website level script settings, where you're going to add any kind of scripts over here and your pixels, which are your pixel IDs for Facebook or Google. If you don't know, and your analytics, if you don't know what that is right now, don't worry about it. You, you'll learn and it'll, it's all in the training and in the knowledge base and so many places in Builder All, you're gonna find it in no time. So we won't take the time to explain what these are right now, but this is where you add them when you're ready to add them. Now, as you move down, you're also going, oops. So once you set any scripts, you would save it as well. Every time you're gonna wanna save before you navigate off of that page. That's really important. So just get into the habit of saving, saving, saving often. Down here on the left-hand side under SEO settings is where you're going to put in your keywords, any meta tags if you're going to use them, robots or ad um, that you're going to use, AdWords. Uh, let's just say we're going to, this is a coaching site and the business name is, well, in the other uh, pages that I'm going to show you, it was sound coaching, I think. So I would probably do like, if that is the domain name, I would do a, a main keyword and make sure it's filled in at least one of your keywords. I try to shoot for at least three and then save. Now, there are a lot of other options down here that we're not going to cover today, or we would be here till next week. <laughs> it really would take too long. So let's leave this area. And one thing to know is 
anytime, anytime you are changing ses- settings or changing something at the website level over here, you want to make sure you save it, save often, and then republish because it's not going to get published out to your pages that you've got out there when you get your pages out there until you do that. So that's always a key point to remember. Now, if we go back to um, our site, see here we are on this SEO settings that tells me what page I'm on, where I am on this builder. If I go back to the site here, I can see I have a card for this page. Now I've got some of this work done on another, um, on the template I wanted to uh, do some customizing on for you. So I'm gonna move over to that. We're gonna go to that and we're gonna go back to uh, Cheetah. And that website is this Sound Financial. I'm gonna open it up now. And we're gonna take a look when, when you download that uh, finance, financial coach web pages, that website, you're going to, it's going to download, download a homepage here, a pending page, and a thank you page. So it creates these three pages. And I haven't done, I, the only thing I did was change the name on this. And this normally, this would say home. When you download it into your account, it's going to download and say home. But to change the name, I went to the site settings I wanted to show you here. And you can see here, there's my title and the pretend URL that were, perhaps it'll be soundfinancialpartners.com or uh, .co, whatever. But that's where I set those settings. So now I can find those. Um, let me go back to the site. I see the website name here. And here's my page name. Here's my home page. The only thing I haven't done is cr- actually say this is the home page. I'm going to go to click on the three dots here in this card. And that opens up this drop down men- menu. This drop down menu, you can um, delete a page if you don't want it. Maybe you looked at it, you decide you don't want to use it. You can quickly delete it. You can also duplicate it. You can click here and go to that website page. And then here's your page settings. And page settings are only going to apply to this page. So you're going to need to come in here and create a name for this page and then designate whether or not it is or is not a home page. In this case, we are going to make this our home page. Here we have, and you can see here we have uh, the title because we've already set those parameters, remember, on the website settings. So here's how it looks. And the URL or the address is the home page, is home. Here I just put in a mock-up of a description. And next thing I want to show you, very, very, very important, you're going to want to paste your mailing boss integration key in your page right in this field. Now, where do you find, and I'm sure that my teammates, as they get into the funnel part of it and some of their trainings, the sales part of it, they're going to have more to say about Mailing Boss. I just want to show you quickly where to find that as you're exploring these. So let's go over here to Mailing Boss. And once you're in Mailing Boss, you can click on that um, menu on the left-hand side. Then you'll choose integration. And once you get into the, uh, let's see. Oh, (laughs) I guess I'm not signed in. Wow. Why is that? I must have gotten timed out. Uh Uh-oh. Let's go back into Mailing Boss. There we go. And here we are. Um, You just copy the token there. Just click on that button. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that. I don't need multiple windows open. (laughs) Let's close that. 
So you copy it and you paste your integration key in here. Now, why is that so important? You're not, the, the pages are not going to be able to talk to Mailing Boss and, unless we have that integration key in there. And that's where you find it. Another important part that I'm sure you're going to want to take advantage of as you learn more, if you're not taking advantage of it already, is to create a tag reference for each page. And that way you can track your um, behaviors and all kinds of things by having a, pay, a tag reference for this page. And you get to create those. So I just kind of put in a triple X dash one in there for that. Uh, you can also add scripts. Um, you can, here's where you add the SEO settings for this page. Now, remember, we've set this SEO for the website, but now you're going to choose that keyword that is relevant for this page, those keywords. You'll put those in here, as well as meta tags if you're using them. You'll also find a place to, for a redirect link. If you ever need to redirect traffic from this page to another page, you can do that here. That's really great. And you can also choose not to index this on the search engines. And there may be some kinds of pages that you won't want indexed by the search engines. So that's a nice option just by ticking that little button there. Here is where you can add your share image. And you can also do that on the front of the card, if you notice. But I'll, again, all you have to do is choose here. Let's just choose an image and let's make, oh, well, that's probably too big. Well, maybe not. I'll choose this to be the uh, share image. And, but you'd want to make sure you have the right share image. <laughs> And then, of course, you can always delete it if you don't like don't like that one and choose again. But that's how easy it is. So we're going to delete it. We're not going to talk about pop-ups today. Um, I will talk a little bit about some headers here in just a few minutes and footer settings. And this is where you would set global headers and footers for the page. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. So we better keep moving. Let's see. Now, let me, um, uh, I think we can get rid of that page. Let's go ahead and close that out. So we've talked about, you know, your options are to create your full website, your panel templates, even just simple little lead magnets with a very simple template but you're going to need to customize those. So let's take a look at that page and see how easy it is. I'm not going to go into a lot of depth about how to um, do a lot of customizing here. Be uh, uh, there's a lot to our tools, but there's plenty of training in each of our groups about how to customize uh, your text fields and your banners. Uh, it's all pretty, consistent all the way around, but it's really easy. And you can see whenever you click on an element, uh, you're going to like right here's a text field. It's going to be highlighted in blue. And I'm gonna open up my side panel in the builder, which allows me to see what I'm doing over here. And if I want to on any of these text fields, let's look at that though. I don't know that I would change it if I, if, if I mean, really it's beautifully designed, but if it reads well, the copy's been done professionally, um, I may leave it just as it is. But let's say I just, I just can't stand that yellow. Now, I like it, but let's say I just can't do it. I'm going to double click on that, triple click actually, and I've got my cursor. Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit. Oh. Let me pull that text box down a little bit just so it doesn't go up into that field. I'm going to move it over here. You see, you can move all these all the way around anywhere you want. So let's move it down here for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and triple click again to get inside the field. It brings up a really standard text editor. 
if you've done any kind of work online or in editing work, you're going to be very familiar with these symbols and icons. And there's plenty of training around there. But it's really easy to change any of these. All I have to do is, you know, go in here and select whichever I want. Maybe I don't like the, um, do you see how there's a background, a gray background behind that? Maybe that's what I want to change. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of that. And all that's over here under this icon, the background color. And I'm going to, let's see. I don't think that there's, is there one for none automatic? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what, there we go. It took it all off. Now, one of the things that I, the reason I wanted to do that, can you see why we put that background on the text? See how hard that is to read? That's why the designers who designed this just simply, we're going to put it back, highlighted it all again, and added that gray background just enough. I'm not sure which one it was, though. I'm going to just choose one. Let's say it's that one. Yeah, whatever. I think that was a little light. It was a lot darker, but that's okay. Now let me move this text box back. I've got the text box selected. So we're just gonna move it right back over here, right where it was. We changed it a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change those text box. Same thing with your image. You can swap out your images. This is an image of a line. Maybe you don't like that brush stroke line. I do, but you could swap it out for a straight line or whatever. Same thing with colors and images. To change the image here, this image, you would just make sure you select the image and under general settings here, you can, well, no, it doesn't have the image selected. That's probably just part of the banner. So, but here, let's do this image. We're gonna select this image, make sure we're selected. And if I go under general settings, Maybe it won't let me take it out because it's part of a template. It could be true. Uh, well, I'll show you how to do that on another one of my pages because I have a lot to show you and I don't want to take too long. The next thing I really want to show you because we're looking at this page. If you're, if you're in the mindset that you really want to get moving and there's no reason, even if you don't have a full website up and running, why you can't start getting leads now. If you've got a lead magnet, you can start getting leads now. All you have to do is connect it to Mailing Boss and then use those leads to spread the news when you do get your website up. So that's just an idea. So I really want to make sure you know how to do this. And one of the great things is these templates, you can do it this afternoon. You could have this done before supper time. It does have a footer. So we're going to have to add a terms of use page and a privacy policy page. And I also want to change my date here down here. I triple click, I got inside that text box and I'm gonna change that uh, text to reflect this year for the copyright. Now that means we need to name uh, to add a terms of use page and a policy privacy page. And I think we need to add a header. Anytime I have a page, I want people to be able to navigate to whatever pages I have built, even if that's the only one. I want to have a header. So we're going to do that. Let's add a header, first of all. And we do that by adding a panel. And I'm going to come right down here and find the header. I'm going to click here. And I'm just gonna take a really quick, the, this express header and I'm gonna use it. So it tells me my panel's created. Let me close that. I'm gonna check down here. Here's my header, but it's below my footer. That's the wrong place, right? <laughs> we don't want it down there. We want it at the top. So let's select the header 
and we're going to move the panel. Don't worry about remembering all of this. If you've never seen this before, all of the training and instruction is right there for you in a builder all. So don't worry about it. We're going to choose move panels. So I'm going to open that up and you can see this is like a little chart, a diagram. I have um, this header panel that we just added. This is our footer panel. And this is that main top panel, this right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold of my foot uh, header that I just added. I'm going to drag it to the top and then I'm going to click move. Now let's take a look. We have a header, our panel, and a footer. Good job. Now, how easy is it to add those images? Let me show you. A logo is an image. I'm going to select the image. I'm going to open up my menu. You can also right click and do the same thing, but I think it's easier to see on screen if I come up here and let me select this. Oh, my image went all the way over there. Oh, that's because I hit center. <laughs> okay. Let me bring it back where it belongs. And uh, I'm going to select it. And under general settings, I'm going to open it up and change the image. And I have an image I think I uploaded, yes, here that is just a fake logo I did really quick. It's not a fancy one. I'm going to select it. I'm going to save it. And my let me see. Let me make this bigger here. I might not have gotten it in there because it wasn't big enough. Oh, come on down here. There we go. Try it again. Uh, select the image. And we'll go up. No image. I don't want the panel. There we go. General settings, I right click to bring that panel up. And let me make sure I'm not, uh, I see it. Okay, so um, if things aren't okay team, let me know. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, open this up and I'm gonna change that image. So I select it. I already previously uploaded it. So I would select it here to get it into my um, digital file repository. So once I've got the image there, I'm gonna select it to save it. And I can put my own image in there. Let's bring this menu part down here. And I'm not going to do a lot of um, design work on this. I would probably make that smaller though. Let's shorten that. Let's make this a little tighter maybe. I'll center the menu and I could leave this the same color, but I think I wanna make that header black. I don't know why. I'm gonna bring this menu down a little bit too. So I'm going to select the header here and I'm going to right click and look for my colors, my background settings right here. Open it up. I'm going to choose the color and change it. Now I'm going to pull that up so I can put in a true black color. So let me do that. And there we have something that I think looks a little better. Now imagine that you have your uh, header all set, all ready to go. It's just the way you want it. You have your menu configured. Uh, I wanna show you another amazing, amazing, amazing thing that I love about Builder All, and that's those global elements. They are just such a time saver because remember, we're just starting with this one page, but eventually we're gonna build many, many pages in this web uh, site. So we're going to use this header probably a lot. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save any changes that I made. So let's save those changes on the page. And now I also want to, I would do that just because I 
get nervous if I don't save. <laughs> I just do. Now I'm going to select this header here and I'm going to open up our panel over here and come on, open up. There we go. And I'm selecting this panel. I want to make sure I'm on this panel because I want to come all the way down here. Now my, my header is the way I know I want it. I'm going to come all the way down here to the advanced section and I'm going to open it up. And don't worry, you don't have to be advanced to use the advanced section. They let you in even when you're new. So let's name this element as um, you can name it whatever you want. I would generally use my uh, website name in it because especially if you're building for multiple clients or working with multiple pages and websites. Let's just call, call this a coaching header one. You might want to put number, numerals on them. You might want to use several different headers. That's fine. And that's as saved as a personal element. So we're going to save that as a personal element. And we're going to save it again. We know that's saved. Oops. Now, the next time I want to build a page and I want to, maybe it's not a landing page, uh, uh, opt-in page, a lead magnet page, I can use and pull this same header into this website. And it's even better than that because you can also create global headers. Let me show you how you do that. I hope everybody's still hanging with me. Uh, we're going to go back to, oh, wait a minute. That's there. I'm going to close that. And oh, where to go? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So I should save that just to make sure it's saved. Now, what, what about the global headers? Let's come over here. I, I definitely want to show you this because this is really, uh, I, I think, really sweet. Uh, if you come over here to global headers, and oh, you can create a global header, click on it, and we're gonna create this new header. And the very first thing, we're gonna call this the coaching global header. Or name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. You could probably be a lot better at naming these than grandma. And we're gonna save it. And here's our global header. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna edit it and it brings up the editor just like it does on any other um, page that you're building. But this time we're going to add that personal header we just made. So we're going to add personal panel. And when we open it up, we're going to find that coaching header one. And I'm going to click the block. Now, here we have a global header. So now I'm going to save it. I don't need to do anything if it's working the way I want it. It's saved. We're going to click that's fine. Let's go back to the home page of our website. Now, why is that so exciting? Here we are in this Sound Financial Partners, and we've got our, let's see, let, if we take a look at this, we put the header on that page, but let's take a look at our pending page. Let's go in and edit that. It doesn't have a header. It does have that footer. Now, actually, what I would do, I would definitely go back and I'd recreate a global footer too with the proper links. Why is this important? Because now let's go ahead and go back to, uh, let me go ahead and close out of that. We'll leave out of it. We can go to our page settings and here on our page settings, remember when we were going through those page settings, we saw those settings for your uh, global elements and headers. I can come down here and choose the coaching global header we would also want to create a mobile version that looks great on mobile. We choose it there. We could do the same for our footers too. 
So once you choose your header though, from your global headers, make sure you save here as well, and then republish. Now, if we go to that pending page, let's see if it picks up our global header. I'm gonna to go to the right of the card and choose go to the website page and it picked up our header. So you see what I would do? I would actually create a global footer as well. And then I would just add global headers and footers to these pages across every single page that I'm building for my website. All right, so we, we've learned a lot with Keck, right? A lot of information with Keck, how you guys can actually decide what you're gonna uh, coach about. We learn with Bridget, and we learned with Terry on building the website. Now you have your builder account. If you have it, make sure you get your builder account, right? Either get it for free or get the best package out there, which is the funnel club, okay? So now you have your website. What else do you need now, right? Because usually in real life, you guys get to meet people. You have a piece of paper or you have a, a calendar on your phone or some type of software that lets you know that, hey, I am booking uh, with this client. So you need some type of booking software and Build already provides that for you at no extra cost, right? If you have uh, a, a Builder account, you have access to this uh, booking calendar. So for you to automate your business, guys, this is important because you have your website, people are gonna be coming in, they're gonna be watching, the website that you created, there's you're providing a lot of value. They want to book with you. So you need, and right here, for those of you, I, I left the answers there. I was debating if I shouldn't or if I should, but we left it there. But you can write down here, right? What are the tools that are required to automate your coaching business? And one of them, after the website, because we already went through all this, after the website, you need a booking calendar, some type of way that your clients can see when are you available, what are your times, for how long they can book with you, okay? So make sure you're right, right here, build their all booking, okay? On number one, you're gonna write that. I'm gonna wait for you guys to write. I'm looking at you, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. All right, that should be enough. All right, so number two, guys. For number two, you need a payment gateway. What is a payment gateway? So if you go to a store and you swipe your card, usually there's a machine that takes the, right, it processes your payment. So that's basically the payment gateway. But online, you, you're not swiping any card. You're just putting your card information. But you need somebody, which you don't have a bank that's going to charge them uh, whatever amount you're charging for, for this coaching session. So we have Builderall has within the booking calendar and as well with our super checkout, I'm not gonna touch on. Uh, we have lots of great training, especially Jackie and Bridget have done some amazing training on the super checkout. So with that, people can pay directly with their cards, right, debit or credit, and you get your money and you don't have to worry about a, a bank. Uh, you have either PayPal, which is kind of the bank, you have, what's it called, Stripe, and like I said, we have the Builderall payment gateway as well. So right here, you can put Builderall's payment gateway or Builderall payment. Then our last here, so you guys can uh, write it down. What do you need if you want to follow up and send them messages, send them updates, or maybe you have, uh, we're in the New Year's. So you have a New Year's resolution coaching session, right? 50% off. So you want to get your current count, uh, clients to come back because you have this amazing uh, sale going on. So with email marketing, which is included with Builderall, and who can say this? Uh, I want to see the comments. Do you have limits when it comes to your subscribers? Well, most of you guys might be new, so I'll just give you the answer. You don't. It's unlimited. So if you have a million clients, you have no worries uh, of extra charge with Builder right here. All right, so our mailing boss, email autoresponder handles that. You guys can send an unlimited amount of emails to your clients. 
So that is that, guys, okay? I just wanted to touch on that, give you guys the answer, even though it's there. Uh, but here you can write mailing boss, build their own mailing boss. So now we're going to go into this, but this is just a slide for you guys. I'm actually going to go at it live. So let me close this. And let's go to Builderall. So if you have an account with Builderall, just go to office.builderall.com. Or if not, I'm pretty sure somebody shared with this with you. So get back with them. Or if they did something right, you should be already cookied so that they can get the credit. But we're going to go to our main office over here. And what's great, I can actually move these around. So I have here the booking builder, which is our booking calendar. And I'm going to enter right here. And this is the booking calendar. And I love the design. It's so simple. Now, in reality, guys, I don't, I don't even have to do this. This, this training could be done in less than five minutes because it's so user-friendly. It's so simple. It's very self-explanatory. But if we left it like that, we wouldn't have this training right? I wouldn't be here. So I will go and explain it to you guys just in case you might need a little push. So once you open up your booking calendar, you have your dashboard right here and you want to open and create a new calendar. And the calendar is what you create um, your booking events. So you have here your consultations, you have an event, right? If there's a specific event that you're doing, maybe you're hosting a live webinar where you're teaching, doing a free class or a paid class, then here you have the classroom setting. Maybe you can have a couple of people. I know for um, fitness coaches, this might be great for, for those that want to pair up uh, a group of people to come in and do a session. And then you have your recurring, which recurring, you know, monthly basis, uh, certain days of the week or certain days of the month. But we're going to stick to something simple and easy so we don't get confused. We're going to do a consultation calendar, all right? And then your calendar title. So we can do here, um, let's do health. Health coach. And let's do health coach too. And we're going to create a calendar. Like I said, this is very sort of explanatory. As you can see, it's very simple. You have the, the title here where you can put the name which we already have here, the health coach. You have your logo. Now, if you have your logo, which by this time, maybe you might have because uh, Bridget definitely went over going that going over that where you guys can actually hire somebody from Fiverr, Upwork, or use free softwares or, well, free websites like Canva.com. And you can create your own logo. It can be super simple, right? It can be your name or choose your initials, whatever it is. Or you want to brand it because... Your, your clients are coming from your website, right? And thanks to the amazing templates that we have in Builderall, they, they love your website. Everything is branded, you have your colors, you have your logo, and then they come here to, to book this appointment with you and everything's completely different, right? There's no logo, the colors don't match. It can, they can feel a little off. So make sure you guys take full advantage of all the customization that you're able to do within your booking calendar. So update and add your logo. I'm not going to add one here because I have a lot of pictures. So we're just going to ignore that for now. So remember, just training purposes. Then your description, you, you'll go right here, right? Your health coach. Then we have your time zone. Now, I like to leave it as that user select their time zone. Right? So I'm in Eastern. They can be in Pacific. So the software would do its thing where if it's, one o'clock Eastern, it will tell me what is the time for me um, or for them in, in Central or Pacific. So that, I will leave it like that, All right? After action, subscription. So this is after they, they register, after they've already subscribed to create their, what's it called, their, they booked, right? But we also have here, redirect URL. So you can have it simple. Thank you for signing up. Or, you know, we have the amazing, powerful Cheetah. And you can select your pages here, right? So I, I can have a custom page that will direct my clients 
to where I need them to go, or maybe a special offer that I might be having. Right, so I can select here, just for training purposes, a haircut, haircut coupon or something like that. And what page? Uh, let's do download coupon page. And then I'll press select, save it, and next. As you can see, we're, we're almost kind of done. I'm just explaining to you guys what you could do and what you need to do to make sure you, you guys do it right. And you know what's great? If you don't understand, you get lost, I'm going too fast, I'm going too slow, whichever it is, right? We have in the workbook, we added for you a link to what Keck did, a full, I think it's about 45 minute uh, training, literally going step by step by step by step, explaining everything um, just like a, how I am, but in more detail, right? Because here we're just giving you guys the basics so you guys know what, what's possible, what you could do uh, with the booking calendar. So here I'm going to do first coaching session, the host. This is the name of the account that you would have here. There's a training account. And of course, description, uh, your first your first appointment. Let's leave it like that. Then you have here your starting point. Every 15 minutes, every five minutes, I'm gonna do it every 30 minutes. And my sessions are going to be two hours. Be And it's going to be intervals of, let's do intervals of 30. And when am I available? Now that's up to you, right? Your business hours. Are you gonna work on Sundays? I usually don't work Sundays or Saturdays. And from what time to what time? Eight to five? maybe eight to six, right? So you would change that to all of them right here. And let's do it like that. And there you go, so eight to six. So I'm gonna be available from eight to six. And if someone books an appointment, it's going to software by itself. You don't need to use your, your pen and paper. You don't need to use Google Calendar uh, to, I guess, arrange everything accordingly because the software is going to put that you're booked let's say you booked at eight o'clock so then therefore you're booked for two hours after that you have 30 minutes and then somebody else can book again and they'll be able to see that there uh, on the calendar when they see it then you have your available dates you can either leave it as this and then sessions how many sessions do you guys want to have whether it's a one-time session right maybe once every week, but for us, we're just gonna do one by right, training purposes, and then availability. And we can do it here indefinitely or until a certain day or rolling days, right? So like I said, most of these things, if you read them or if you, if you question them a little bit, we have little question marks here that will tell you what this is, right? The little I. Now, minimum attendance. Now, this is important. Well, I lost my video. This right here is important, guys, because you want it to be, um, where is it? You want it to be not allowed today or not allowed. What I like to do is actually hours. I like to put it for 24 hours. So now, what's, what, what does this mean? This basically means that someone cannot make an appointment unless it's not 24 hours in advance. Because I can be right now, I'm talking to you guys, and if somebody goes to my booking calendar and they book an appointment, I get a notification saying that, hey, somebody booked for a uh, one o'clock meeting. They can't do that because it's not 24 hours in advance, right? You wanna make sure you can either set it 48 hours or maybe days, right? Maybe you wanna do it uh, two days in advance or one day in advance, which is basically 24 hours. But I just like to do the hours because it, it makes sense, right? So that you can plan, right? Plan ahead so that you don't feel that one, you too much. there's too much in your plate. And then two, so that you don't look bad. You don't want your clients to come and make an appointment. And what's the worst thing to happen when they make an appointment and they show up? But guess who doesn't show up? I want you guys to answer in the comments. I like interaction. So usually I will ask, 
even though I might not be looking, I have it here on my phone and I can't type to you guys because I'm teaching you guys, but I'm looking at the comments and guess what? I have a team. So the team will let me know that you guys are actually responding and engaging, right? We have Shelly, Jackie, Terry, Bridget, and Keck looking into the comments. So don't let me know if you guys are actually engaging. So yeah, definitely it would look really bad if you do not show up. You want to show up to your appointments. So this is really critical. Uh, I think I also added that to make sure you want to you wanna edit this. Make sure you put that 24 hours or 40 hours, however you want to do it. And then if you want to block any specific dates, right? maybe it's your birthday, right? or maybe it's your daughter's birthday. Like today is my daughter's birthday. Every day she just turned one. And then February is my birthday. So maybe I'll have a couple of dates here that nobody can schedule because it's a special event right? or holidays. Then there's the more advanced features. Um, I wouldn't recommend to edit this at all. Right? All this is good. The only thing that I would edit would be uh, right here, one schedule. So that means, this means that when they schedule, they can only schedule once because the software sees that they are registered with their email. So they can only schedule an appointment with you once. But if you do no limit, they can schedule once and then they'll schedule a second, third, fourth, right, and so on. So you don't want that. So the only thing that I recommend maybe do here depending on how you schedule your coaching, you can do, maybe they can schedule twice with the same email, but uh, standard or default, just, just do one. And we are good with this and we're going to press save and next. So as you can see, everything has been pretty much self-explanatory. Right? It tells you right, information uh, that customers will be asked when they schedule. So what are you going to ask of your clients that are coming in to schedule the appointment? You definitely want to know their name. So this is by default right there. Uh, see, automatically translates. So you can't edit this. Same thing here with uh, email. And phone here, it's not highlighted because I haven't clicked here and say that it's required. Right now it's hidden. So normally, right, I'm in the United States. Uh, I don't know how it would work for you guys uh, outside the United States if you like to call people. But if you're doing some coaching, I definitely will want it to be a required because I want to make sure that this is a real person. I can contact them to remind them if for some reason they don't check their emails, they don't check their text, right? Because remember, this is all about automation. But, you know, when you're brand new, you want to be on top of things so that you, you get the best bang for your buck, right? So you want to make sure you get, get back at them. You have the email and the name. So the automation with the booking calendar is going to remind them, send them an email. If you activated a uh, text, you can send a text. And then the last one would be the phone number that you would call if you want to call them. So you had that. And then so that you can prep in advance for you and for them, you, you might want to add some extra fields over here. So this is what, this is health coaching. So you can ask them, um, right, are you, uh, are you, what's your sex and here we can have check boxes All right we have male and female and there's no more option of that uh alien i don't know <laughs> we have that save and then so what's your sex male or female uh, body type or body weight and here they're going to input a short text. Right? There's no multiple choice. Or unless you want to do a, a range, right? You can do it that way. But right now we can leave it as short text. And is it required? Yes or no? Maybe, maybe not. All depends on you. So here they'll put their body weight. Uh, you know, maybe you want to ask them, are you willing to work out at home? And you can put a checkbox as one, or maybe maybe a drop down. Let's try drop down, see what it looks like. Yes, and let's do. No, I can't. 
and then let's just press save. So the drop down, as you can see, is the little arrow, the little triangle here. They'll be able to select it. And anything else they want to ask in advance to help you and your client so that when you meet up with them, you know, okay, this person is a male, female, uh, they weigh uh, 200 pounds, their goal is this, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, or you want to do that. Um, you know, for, for certain things, sometimes it's good to know if it's a male or female, because uh, like for myself, uh, my name is Gene, and when people see the name Gene without the Gene Carlos, right, my full name, they might think I'm a girl. And, and unfortunately, on the phone, my voice sounds like a girl. <laughs> Silly, but, but true. <laughs> I get that a lot of the times when I talk to people on the phone. All right, so we got that. Uh, so we have the schedule confirmation notification. So see, like I said, automation. You don't have to hire somebody to, to send a message, to send an email, right? I know when you have some type of an actual, you know, mom and pop coaching business, an actual location, right, where it's not some online stuff, you might hire a, a worker or maybe a virtual VA to go into your books, to your address book and see that, Somebody made an appointment for Tuesday and you need to send them a message. You need to send them an email with this, right? With, with the automation that you're able to do nowadays, um, especially with this, the booking calendar, you can literally just set maybe two or three reminders. Uh, so here, send confirmation. Yes, send confirmations. Uh, send emails to the host. So this means you. So I like to get uh, emails for sure. And do I want to receive emails for new subscription spending? Maybe, maybe not. So this definitely immediately after subscribing, but you can edit it. And we're not gonna get into this because this, this is just basic telling them hello, right? Your, your message that they're going to get once they, they've registered. So you can tell them, you know, instead of hello, you can be, hey, and then their name, and you can say, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great meeting up with you. And I can't wait to help you reach your goals. Schedule four and all that's gonna be there and it's confirmed. So let's press done. And also, as you saw here, we have SMS. Like I said, uh, it's the automation it's, it's amazing, and I love the automation because uh, I know myself, we're busy uh, with kids, work, school. So if you can automate just a little bit or as much as you can, this definitely helps your business a whole lot. Uh, let me check time. Okay, 12.30, we're good. All right, so here's the reminders. Do you want to send any reminders? So like I said, automation, and people are forgetful. Me. Uh, I don't know if it was the, all the injuries and head injuries I, I, I had in the, in the army, but my memory is not that great. So I would definitely love reminders because I know my echo, I'm not gonna say your name device, reminds me of certain things. So this would be great for your clients and yourself as well, right? So it's a reminder to email host as well. So I want that. And you can here click on new reminders and then you can see when, right? one hour meeting and you can be like, hey, one hour till our meeting. Hey, 30 minutes till our meeting. And then another one, hey, uh, it's it's late. Have you gone to our meeting, right? Whatever you want, whatever reminder you want to do right here, uh, you could definitely set it. And this is the email sender, right? Uh, specific, user specific email sender. Right? We have here the builder of booking or you can have here your, your email. You can leave it for default for now. Right, we're not gonna get into that. So let's press save and next. And now this is really cool. And I, I love this part. Like I said, I wanna make sure things are reminded. And with technology, we have so many things to help us and unfortunately not use our brains, <laughs> but it's, it's good for me too. But you have here sync with Google Calendar. Now, everybody here has a Google Calendar, whether you like it or not, you probably do. And if you don't, maybe you do, but you just don't use it. 
right? But if you have a Gmail, you have a Google Calendar. Just to let you know, for those that didn't know, if you have a Gmail account, you have a Google Calendar. So this, you can sync it and sync it to them with the Google Calendar. But you will have to click on here, add the calendar, and then you select the account. So you would need to do the create integration. We're not gonna get into that because we don't wanna spend more than an hour here. I just wanna show you guys the basic, uh, I guess, bones of things. And I'm not gonna feed you everything because then we'll be here for like two hours or more. And then you will select your calendar once you have integrated all this. So I'm gonna do do not sync with Google Calendar, but you guys know that it, it's, it's here, okay? And then for your meetings. Now, this is great. For those of you that have a Zoom account, whether it's a free or a paid account, you can integrate this. When you click on integrate with Zoom, you can select, well, I don't wanna integrate, not right now, but I'm just letting you guys that you could. I can't do it because we are using Zoom right now. So you can integrate the Zoom, but here's a little um, reminder or, or note for you to do the full integration. Make sure you are on Google Chrome and have the Zoom, what's it called, widget um, extension. See, I blanked out there for a little bit. Zoom scheduler. Zoom scheduler, thank you. So yeah, so make sure you have that on your uh, Google Chrome. So we're not gonna do that, but I'm letting you guys know it's there. It makes things so much easy and simpler. And pretty soon, hopefully really, really soon, uh, we'll probably have here another option, which is going to be our webinar feature. So we have, you can schedule your, your appointments and do your meetings instead of using Zoom, right? Maybe you don't have a free or paid account with Zoom, but you just don't wanna use software. You can do it with our webinar platform. You can send them the link. You'll be able to, to have the one-on-one -on -one there and you don't have to pay anything extra because guess what? We've got you covered here with the full suite of Builderall. And then our last thing right here, we're almost done guys. Look at that, uh, we're at 34 minutes and we're almost done. The subscriber list. So like I told you before, right? You need email marketing. So we have email marketing within Builderall already included. It's integrated, unlimited, and you can send reminders, right? They can be subscribed to a specific list. So I'm gonna choose, let's say the test. And let's pretend that it says here, I forgot to change it. Uh, let's say that it says, right, the health coach updates or um, meal plans or meal ideas, whatever it is, right? So once they schedule through your booking calendar and they're already scheduled, they're set, they're going to be added to an email list that now you have, right, these, uh, these clients, they're your leads, they're your subscriber, and you can message them back, right? Like I said, you can maybe have every year a, a discount. So you have the option of doing autoresponders, which is sending an email every, you can do it every day or every once a week. That's automated, not that you're going to send. This means that you have planned 10 emails in advance and it's gonna go at a certain time from the time that they got into your list. Hopefully you guys understood me. If you didn't, it's okay. We have training. We're not gonna leave you guys here stranded, right? We'll help you out. And then you can send a blast, email blast with uh, the mini boss as well. So I'm going to press save and next. And now payment, uh, I know this is coming. This is gonna be amazing. It's going to be already integrated within the booking calendar. We could take payments. Like I said, we have Super Checkout, which are amazing Mac 5. Um, well, I think almost all of us have done it, except for me, I haven't done it, right? We have training on Super Checkout on how you can create your digital product and charge people for it and get paid. And then you link it with this, the booking calendar, right? But real soon, you won't have to create the Super Checkout extra feature. You can just do everything here within one, uh, one page, one platform. And here you would press yes. But as you can see, it says coming soon, super checkout. Uh, so we're not gonna do this for right now, but probably by the time that some of you might be watching the replay here, it'll be there. 
and then we're done. We have now a full calendar that we can give to somebody and they can schedule an appointment one-on-one -on -one or maybe a, a classroom setting, depending on what you chose. And right here, you can view it. You have edit, customize, and view. And if I click view, this is what it looks like, right? Health coach. Now it doesn't look pretty because like I said, I didn't add any extra colors. I didn't add the logo. I didn't add a lot of description. But for you, you wanna make sure you stay consistent and congruent with your, your coaching colors or your brand in particular. And here's one session, two hour duration. And as you can see right here, we can, you can schedule maybe at 1.30. You're going to collect their name, email address, phone number, mail. Well, maybe I should change that. I don't think someone, oh, well, you could be male, female. Uh, but yeah, I got to probably fix that. You want to make sure it's just the one that you can check once. Uh, body weight in here, yes or no, I can't, and they would schedule. Now that is super simple, super easy, right? It's it's not complicated for them, and it's not that complicated for you to either to set up because like you saw, we set it up here in probably about 30 minutes or so because I'm talking and I'm explaining. Once you guys get the gist of this, you're just going to go click, 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 done, done, done. All right, I'm ready to go. So what's great about this, remember with Buildor, everything works together. So what I can do, I can either copy this and add it to a button and I can actually edit the, the name right here. Like you see, we have all these numbers. Maybe you can call it jeans, uh, coaching, well, pouching. Coaching class one, two, three, four, right? And let's save. So now it's booking, training, builder all, gene class one, two, three, four. But this link, this link would go in a button, right? You saw that Terry showed you yesterday how you could create your website and you can edit uh, your, whole, your whole funnel. So you would add this link to a button or we also have within Cheetah, we have the booking calendar app that you can just click booking calendar. And maybe I should show you guys real quick. We still got time. Let's see if I can do this super quick, just to show you where it is. And let's go new website. Well, not new website. I'm going just to edit one of these real quick. Let's, let's do this here. So this was not part of the plan, guys. I'm improvising just because I thought, you know what? Might as well give you guys a little extra. I right? give you a little bonus and show you guys how simple this is. So as you see right here, whoops, you see right here on the elements, we're going to scroll down, scroll down. And as you can see it, you can see it right there, B for booking, click on booking. And then we have the booking calendar right here. You want to click on it and let's drag it over here. And then, oh my gosh, look, already I have my two booking calendars here. Coaching, well, coach, show info, no info, all calendar, group specific if I had, but you only had one. So I will press save. And then I will have this on my site instead of a button that would take them to the booking calendar and then excuse the lag. And also this is, in, this is in the way. So you wanna do this of course in a page that doesn't have stuff like this already has. But I'm just showing you guys that it's this simple, this easy to get things done uh, within the builder all just uh, suites. Everything's integrated, it's working. And I can just press save, but I'm not going to because you know this is not a blank page. I should have just done a blank page. But as you can see, it's there. It would be within my website. And if my website has some kind of uh, branded colors, right? I can have the brand colors right here, my header. Terry showed you guys how to do your header and your footer. So you can keep that, right? The, the consistency and the congruent of your website, the way that it looks. And of course, you'll have your colors and your logo here as well. 
but we're not going to save. So I'm just going to close this. And let's press leave. And then, uh, where am I? Here we go. Let's go back over here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Got lost there for a skin. So there we go. So we have our booking calendar. And what's great, another great thing, I keep saying what's great, is that let's say if, if for some weird reason you don't have Builderall and you have your website hosted maybe in, on somewhere else because your company, that's where they host it. Maybe you don't have right, the option of designing, deciding where your site is hosted because your company is hosting it on the WordPress or something like that. Uh, but we do have WordPress just to let you know. But you still want to use a booking calendar because your company needs this. You can have Builderall and you can integrate this to a button or here you go. Look at this, embed. You can embed the whole booking calendar onto a current website that you have. Uh, if you have a WordPress website or some other type of website out there, you can embed it into your website. So we literally have every dot covered for you guys, right? All the dots, they're, they're check marked. We wanna make sure we help you guys to the, to the max. And on top of that, we have training like these. And we have, if you see, let me see that I closed the workbook. Yes, I did. I'm going to open it again just to show you guys where you can see this. If you scroll down, I added a link so that you can actually go watch the specific training on booking calendar. Where is it? Here we go. All right. So once you get done with all that, right here. So you guys can click on this and see Keck's detailed, very detailed training on the whole booking calendar. He does everything, he touches everything. And just make sure that when you click on this, if you're not part of that group, right, the, the Facebook group, you join it and answer those three questions. Because if you don't answer those questions, unfortunately, you're not going to get in. It's a special group, right? We, we treat people nice in there. So before I jump into more technical aspects of getting ready, I just want to let you know why people love coaching. Now, the reason for including this into my slides is because if you understand the why, you're going to know the, the how, right? Because you'll want to ensure that your clients succeed in your coaching and it makes it as comfortable as easy, but also in a structured manner. Now, I will only mention the main points because you will have more training on this in the follow-up training that I'm going to put together for you. And the number one is personal attention. Now, I'm sure we do not have to go into detail as to why personal attention has so much impact on a person. We tend to learn better when we are in an environment where we do not just feel safe, but also when all the attention is on you. So for an example, I homeschool my kids. When I sit down with them and show them how to solve an algebra problem, the chances of them retaining the information and have success in doing it themselves next time is better than when it is when it's taught in a class environment. Now guys, I'm not saying you should not send your kids to school. I'm just using it as an example. That is why coaching is still a lucrative business. People need that personal attention and guidance and I'm sure you cannot argue with that. Number two is flexibility. Now, life is moving fast. Coaching gives the student the time to adapt to deadlines. And what I mean with that is they will be able to set the goals with you that will suit them and will not feel as if they are told what to do within a specific time frame. It, if, if this makes sense, let me know in the comments. I need to do what Jean did yesterday and try to you guys to get engaged. So please <laughs> make a comment if this makes sense. Number three is accountability. Now, this is all about taking action on the goals that both you and the person you're coaching together created. Now, accountability is a wonderful thing because it eliminates the time and the effort you spend on distracting activities and other unproductive behavior when you make people accountable for their actions, you are basically teaching them the value of their work. So when you do this right in your coaching business, 
you are going to increase your client skills and confidence. Now, to give you an example, let's say I am coaching someone on being organized at home. I can ask them to organize their kitchen and take before and after pictures that they will need to post on a closed group that I've created in Facebook so that everyone can partake. And that by itself is going to give them the accountability to take action and show off what they've actually achieved. Number four is ease of communication. It is like a direct helpline. No need to stand in a queue or wait for a comment or a message on Facebook that needs to be answered. How many of us, especially in digital marketing world, would love to have a direct line? I personally would love to have a Ryan Dice's number. So if you guys can help me out with that, I will give you something awesome in return. Just joking, guys. No, actually, I'm not joking. I do want his number. <laughs> but anyways, you're getting my point. Let me rather move on. Number five is you are a mentor. They will look up to you as the expert. And they're going to trust you to guide them through that learning process so that they can have results. And as you can see now, knowing this can help you set up everything else that is necessary from here onwards because you will create and implement with the needs of the client in mind. Now, before we can get to all the paperwork in order to get your business started, you would also need to make sure that you set your own goals for your business. Ask yourself questions like, what do you want from your coaching business? How much do you want to earn? What kind of lifestyle do you want? It's going to help you when you're going to create all those forms that you will need and get ready for your client. Great, now we have all of that in place. So let's shift our focus for one moment to our coaching website. Now to make things easier for you, I created a website checklist that you can use to tick off the important actions that you should take to get your website ready. Remember, you do not have to include it all, immediately at least, but it is recommended to always change and adjust and not just to make it great for the user, but also for the search engine optimization. Now, this checklist can be found in the workbook, which we will look at in just a moment. So with all of that being said, I'm sure you probably have one big question left. What paperwork or documents do I need for my business? And you are in luck because coaching is one of the simplest business models. So you don't need a lot of admin paperwork to be a successful coach. Now, this is actually good news, especially if you are still employed and you want to start a business on the side. Now, during the last few days, you probably developed a good idea of a chosen area you would like to coach. And you also know how to help potential clients, but it does not stop there. You need to ask one more question. How can I go that extra mile and how can I make my clients feel welcome? Now, the answer is, drum roll, please, kick. It is here where I actually needed your sound system that you always have in your Facebook groups. It is actually called the welcome back. So let's talk about what's to include into your mouth, welcome back, so you can get the paperwork in order. The first one is a contract, or rather say agreement, because it just sounds so much better. A coaching contract slash agreement doesn't have to be long and complicated. It only needs to be a couple of pages. Now, I always say short and sweet does it. <clears throat> if you throw a thick pile, <clears throat> excuse me, of papers to sign in front of me, you're going to see me run as fast as I can. Why? Because somewhere in that thick pile is a place where you're probably going to sell your soul. And your client needs to be coached, not to put into complicated contracts. Now, the first one in there is your agreement is your pledge as a coach. Now, it is basically a commitment that refers to something that someone agreed to or promised to do. And you can add words to your pledge like enthusiastic, um, supportive, trusting, focused, respectful, and so forth. So let's look at an example quickly. I'm going to read it for you. As a coach, I acknowledge that I'm a role model I know that the principle of good sportsmanship are integrity, fairness, and respect. And while teaching the skills of the game, I must also st teach student athletes how to win and lose graciously 
and that sport is meant to be educational and fun. I know the behavior expectations of me by this school. Okay, you get it, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, this pledge is for a person coaching an athlete. Your pledge will be different because your coaching business is going to be different. The next one is a payment agreement. You will need to keep the payment trains running on time. And that is, I'm skipping my slides, sorry. And that is why you should ask yourself these questions and then build your payment agreement around them. Now, the first one is, when do I need to be paid by? And how do I need to be paid? You have to set very clear expectations around the payment and when it's due. So you don't have to run around chasing after payments. And it just makes sense, right? The next one is schedule of sessions. Now, this should be fairly easy to decide. But when you first start off, you would need to decide how much time you will schedule for each session. Generally, guys, I'm talking about generally, it's around 30 to 90 minutes per session. But when you just start, you're going to be lucky to get your sessions done under three hours because something is going to happen and you will keep on process and working. Then three hours later, you will think, what the heck happened to my day? Because that is what happened to me when I started. And it will probably happen to most of you when you just kick off your co coaching business. It is mostly because you so much want to help that person that you just do not want to cut the call or the session short. So you guys have been warned. Try to stick to your schedule that you set and do not set it for too long because the client cannot process that much in one session. The next slide is about, or let me rather say, where will the coaching be conducted? Will it happen online or offline? Will it happen with Zoom? Will it be at your office? You need to be as specific as to where these sessions is gonna be taking place. It can even be a mix of online and offline sessions, depending on the coaching business you are choosing. Then we've got the termination policy. Now this one is really straightforward and it should be very clear. It basically shows when the client or the coach may terminate the agreement and it's vice versa. The last one for the agreement is confidentiality. In coaching, it refers to your duty as a coach to not disclose any information shared over the course of the coaching engagement without the express or written permission of the client. Absolutely straightforward. Now, after the agreement is the welcome letter. <clears throat> now, that is given to the client when they commit to coaching with you. It welcomes them to the working relationship and it gives them information about what you expect right through the engagement. It includes logistics on how calls will take place in person, phone, Zoom sessions, and so forth. Now, at the start of a coaching engagement and periodically throughout, the client should establish goals and targets. And this is helps both you and the client to get clear on what they want out of the coaching. And it reminds them of their progress and it makes it clear when they've reached their goals. The next one is the payment arrangement. Now, this is a form detailing the agreement for a set payment schedule. The client can refer to this form for the amount of their monthly service, as well as for the payment option information, and obviously the cancellation policy that institute for your specific business. Then you've got the client invoice that will detail the type of service that your client is paying you to provide, depending on how you are setting up to, to accept payments. Now, this should be spelled out on the invoice. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. If you are working through an online shopping cart, it would probably be easier for you to set up recurring pay payments. The client may cancel at any time using an approved method stated in your client agreement in any ways, just to let you know that. Coaching guidelines is the next one. Now this document entails the guidelines that's governing your sessions. You can share information about your coaching process, your philosophy, if you've got one, what you expect from the client and what the client can expect from you. Really easy peasy. The final piece to the puzzle is the five important steps that you need to take prior to launching your coaching business. Now, I've also created another checklist that you can use to guide you through that process. 
So I'm not going to go into details as this is also in your workbook, but I'm just going to mention them quickly here. They are step one is to build the framework. Then you're going to develop the welcome pack. Then you're going to clarify the ideal client. Then you will be creating a marketing map. Then you're going to set up your launch layout. Now, please remember, guys, these steps are not cast in stone. You can adjust and change them and do not have to implement them each. It is purely for guidance. Now, I know for a fact that you are getting worried because you have no idea how any of these forms should be constructed or even look like. But now you should know by now that Builder All always goes the extra mile. We have taken out the guesswork out of this equation and created all these forms that you can just adjust and change according to your business. And that is not all. You also get a coaching template. And to top that off, if you're selling Builder All as an opportunity, you will also get a complete sales funnel. And with this training as a lead magnet, the email marketing secrets and everything is tagged. So you will only need to add your affiliate link. That is it. We've done all the hard work for you. There is really no excuse not to start your coaching business. We have given you everything that you need to get you started. And it's now all about taking action. Okay, so before I show you the forms, let's just touch on traffic for one moment, because I know you are thinking about that as well. Now, again, you can have the best site, you can have all the documents, you can basically have everything ready, but without traffic to your site, you will not be in business. And lucky for you, Builderall already thought of that too. So you can go and learn more about traffic and our knowledge base right at the top of your dashboard. Just click on it and type into the search either how to bring tra organic traffic or how to bring paid traffic. And that's it. You will be sorted. So as the Magnificent Five team and our leader, Shelly, we would like to challenge you to take the leap and start your own coaching business. There is no better time than now. The world needs coaches, guys, especially in difficult times that we are living now. And I hope you enjoyed our training and I'm excited to see each one of you taking action. But don't go away. Before we end the session, let me stop sharing my screen and my slides and share with you another screen because I would like just to quickly give you a rundown on the workbook for day five and then give you some uh, extra tool that you can use to make your coaching business a little bit better. So hang tough so I can see and which screen I can close and which one not. So just two seconds so that I can stop screen window is closed. Um, you guys can still see me, right? Can you guys tell me, can you still see me? Yes. Yes, we can see you. Cool. Let me just share the right screen here. This one. Here we go. So this is in the workbook and I've basically just scrolled down so that I get to dive day five, basically. So day five, I said getting ready. And this is the framework that I was talking about here. I'm fleshing it out a little bit. So it says important first steps to take prior to launching your coaching business. The first step is to build your framework, begin with your end result in mind, create topics your clients must know to achieve the end result, place concepts in order of importance, create materials. Step two is to make sure you work on your welcome pack. I'm not going to read all of this, guys, because I'm sure that you can read. And you're going to go through all of these steps. It's just going to make it easier for you to set out uh, everything that is necessary before you launch. Then we've got the website checklist. I'll read the first ones. Is it clear what your site is about? Is it clear what you want your visitors to do? Web copywriting, the contact details. So you can tick off all the different kinds of aspects that you would need to make your website 100% ready to go online. You can see I've also got the email sequence, your super checkout that needs to be tested, make sure on page SEO is there, add some tracking to it, and make sure your legal documents is in place and set up your calendar. Then you're going to keep scrolling. Yeah, I'm telling you a little bit more about the welcome letter, the business goal worksheet, basically what I've just discussed with you. Um, this is just a little bit of a note copy for you. You will see I've got a link here, although on the on the site itself, you would be able to see the link, the uh, link to the forms, but it's also in the workbook. So I am just going to click on that for now. 
and that is what it looks like i'm just going to go back i'm going to go to that form just now the reason why the link is sitting there is because i'm talking about it saying that we've got it in a word document so that you would be able to edit it unfortunately in this document as it is here it, you can't edit so that is why i've given you a link to this document right here where you can change and adjust it obviously remove the placeholder so i'm not going to play around with this document now i'm just going to close that and go back to this one so i'm going to scroll Becky, down can you, do, can you show them one thing and that's um go back into that document and show them how they can make a copy of it so that uh they don't worry about changing your copy they make a copy for themselves yes i can all right so you're going to get to this page right here i'm not sure if mine is showing the same thing let me just check here. But okay, you can save it. You go to file and you're going to say make a copy. And you're going to click on make a copy. That is the one way and it will share it, save it inside of your own drive. Or you can go file and download and you can download it in any of these type of formats. That's totally up to you. All right. So let me just, that's why I made that note there. So I don't want you guys to mess up the one on the Google Drive. All right. So now I'm going to scroll down. <clears throat> And I've got a side note here talking about the welcome letter to give you a little bit more information on it. And this is now where you're going to be able to change it. That's where you're going to put your logo in it, your address, the client's name, the client's address, and obviously call him by name. Welcome to your coaching business name. And then everything that's going to be inside of your welcome pack is going to be sitting right there. And this is obviously the, the letter that comes on, on the top of all your, all your documents then also your signature and your name then you've got your worksheet your business goals worksheet obviously this front piece here yeah, you're not going to give that to the client this is just for information purposes for you and then here is the form where they need to set their goals you guys can go make it a little bit more prettier i really didn't thought of making it different colors because your business brand is going to be different so you can add some color to it and some guidelines there telling them exactly what they need to do then you've got your payment arrangement forms and you can change this. As you can see, the placeholders, the placeholders are there for your logo and everything that is in a bracket is the things that you need to change. And basically, like I said, right through my presentation now, these are the things that I've just discussed. So I really don't need to go into very much further detail about them because it's quite self-explanatory. And then this is your last, this is your basic agreement form that ends up at the end and some coaching guidelines with your philosophy and all those things. And now I'm going to share with you something that I've used in my own business <clears> or <throat> in my own coaching business. And um, the, it is on Google. So if you go to Google and you go look at all the different products, in this case, it's about Google. They've got a lot of different kinds of products that you can use. Now, I know that in Build It All, we have an amazing calendar but if you are looking for a product that you can use where they need to upload a document or a photo or an image i mean imagine imagine you are coaching somebody that needs to lose weight and you need to silly ask that person to send in photos of what they look now because it's going to be before and after you need to have a place where you can um they can upload the document and that's what i've been doing in my own business so you're going to look for forms and i'm going to show you the example that i used and it's really really cool Go to Google Forms. And what I love about it, it integrates all the embedded code that goes onto your Cheetah site looks beautiful. And you've got two choices. You can either, you can see you've got lots of templates there at the top. You can either embed this whole document into your web page and they can answer and fill in the form on top of your web page, or you can send uh, that in a link. So you can coupled it, or if I not say coupled, you can take the link of this uh, form and put it in an email, in your email marketing, um, in your calendar link, when they send out the calendar to say it's been booked, you can link it there too. And that's what I do. I send it via email because if you are going to add an additional field for people to upload something, I'm actually running ahead of uh, running ahead at the moment. Let me just go through it step for step and you're going to see. So here I'm saying, welcome to digital marketing 101. These questions are there for me to get to know you better. So they need to give me the email address. Uh, what should they call you? Nickname, name, professor, whatever. Do you have any digital marketing experience? 
If you said yes, please elaborate a bit more. Do you have a build it all account? If no, you can see I'm asking all these different kinds of questions here. And what's nice about it is you can choose what uh, type of things you want into this box. And I'm going to give you an example just now. Any other comments? And here at the bottom, it says, please upload your completed documents here. And that is going to give them the option to add files and you're going to receive those files. But if you do have this specific field, you cannot embed it on your website. Not when you have to upload a file, but you can send it in an email. And I'm going to show you that just now. So let's say I would like, um, I'm just clicking on this but buttons here to show you what's all the options. You got short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, date, time. You can see it's quite a lot of different kinds of things you can do. This is just for formatting, adding a video, add images, change the text, <clears throat> and add additional questions into one block. Then you can see under responses, this is where you're going to see all response. So once they have completed that and submitted, this is where you're going to see the people's responses answering the questions that you've done. Now, the nice thing about it is you can have a specific theme to it. You can upload your image like I've got mine at the top and you can change your colors and your background and all that kind of thing right here. Change your font style. That is for themes. If you click on preview, it shows you what it's going to look like when they open it up. And uh, we move that thing go back. And then if I click on send, here you will see, oh, let me first click on that so you can see what that is. You collect email addresses. You can tick that to collect the email address. Now, the, these things I don't normally use that much, but what I do use is, <clears throat> where is the quiz? I normally use the quiz as well, but that's not the one I wanted to show you. The one I want to show you is right here. All right, so you collect email addresses. You can write to the subject, welcome to Digital Marketing Coaching 101. I've invited you to fill in this form and then you include the form, obviously. And then you're going to grab the link and put it into your email that, you, that they're going to send right here. From here, you'll send it to them. So if the person booked something in your calendar to see you for a coaching session, you can grab that email and go put it in here and send it straight from this board right here. <clears throat> if you did not include the file thing, there's a link there that you can copy and send it via email in your um, mailing boss. You can choose how you want to do it. Either send it from this platform or send them a link or you can even grab the embedded code and add the embedded code to your website. So you've got multiple ways of utilizing this form. <clears throat> I think it is quite an awesome form to use because it looks so clean. You can get a lot of information out of it. So while we don't have a functionality to upload uh, images or things like that or files like that, I do believe this is something nice that you can add as an add on to your business. Look, hey, they designed a platform for you all. For you all. What you want, what you need, build a raw. Build a raw. Build it up. We just answer when you call. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're a build a raw rock star. Rock star. Hey, you can build it all. Go hard. Go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. If you're trying to build the name of your brand. Came with a plan, get your name in demand. Yeah. With Build a Raw, you can save your day in advance. Keep the apps automated so you barely need to glance. That's a fact. Listen, think of all the power that you hold. Oh. It's a new globe, everyone is grabbing for their phones. phones. Imagine the control, build your passion on your own. And the more that you connect, the more attraction they will show. Oh. Not only a sales funnel, look, this is more advanced. Yeah. This will help you compete, but have the upper hand. Keep your products in demand. It's all in one spot. You don't have to calculate and feel afraid with your thoughts. Oh. Automate your response. Drag and drop your site or oh. click map your fans see the pages they like uh -huh. or use the video rap or capture they sites capture they design sites. your own app from scratch just how you like hey. yeah they designed a platform for you all for you all what you want what you need is build a raw build, build it up we just answer when you call yeah. we're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall, uh -huh. wall. Yeah. yeah you're a build a raw rock star rock star hey you can build it all go hard, go hard.
all. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Design wall. with y'all in mind, let entrepreneurs shine. Tired of the nine to five, you starting your own grind yeah. and it's all right. All they right. got the tools you need. The connection they designed is truly unique. Never been able to express my views with ease. I move, release, double click, and do I'm pleased. My clients as well, tired of the hoops and leaps. Too yeah. many things in the way of my truth and dreams. A builder, all rock star is what you really are. Tune in on the internet, will make you a star. You don't need to study hard, all it takes is a start. Work every day and move higher till you way off chart. Stay on, never sleep on, none of the apps. It's a free sign up just so you know in advance. Builder, all's for the legends. Nothing's holding you back You got the tools and the plan You Look, can stay on track Believe hey, that They designed a platform for you all, all, you all. What you want, what you need Build it all. Build, all Build it up We just answering your call yeah. We're the one stop shop If your back's against the wall, against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You're a builder all rock star. rock star Hey, you can build it all Go hard, Go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all yeah. We're the one stop shop If your back's against the wall, against the wall.